<clears throat> what is up everybody welcome back welcome to the monday stream i'm glad to be back missed you all miss streaming uh thank you guys for the early subs during the warm-up uh during the i always say warm-up during the starting soon appreciate you guys thank you so much zytec yaro sky mention nano andrade appreciate you guys so much for the support neos w thank you for the people riot thank you for the early hype train appreciate you guys um i was not at the jk regional yesterday because i was feeling sick over the last couple of days i'm doing better today but i had to i had to take it easy yesterday unfortunately so we don't have we don't have regional recap today because i had to skip it i was not feeling super well over the last couple of days so i decided to not go but it's okay <laughs> god damn it Dude, the, the freaking... Why do you keep the emotes in? It takes so much longer because of the emotes. <laughs> God damn it. Why is there a coconut? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. No, not again, dude. God damn it, man. <laughs> is, there, is there a way to put a limit on sub messages? Surely there is. Sure, there, there has to be a way to prevent that. <laughs> the limit is 500? Okay, 500 is not an appropriate limit. I'll, I'll tell you that much. 500 is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh no name thank you for the two months strider archai Tigantic, uh x10 maple mr gibba cb kula kicks m, uh, m copper 1571 thank you guys for the subs appreciate you guys thank you so much i missed you guys too welcome back welcome back okay um like i said like i said we don't have uh we don't have regional recap to do but we're, we have a couple things to do today uh, and in general, like I said, this um, this this little break that I just took, which was really just two days off um, of my regular schedule. Um, but I took that break to do a little bit of content planning, specifically also with the um, the discussion that was the discourse that has, that was being held in the Yu-Gi-Oh community about like um, you know competitive content and whatnot. I took the break to do a little bit of content planning, you know, and so I think it's going to be for the best in the long run. I, I found a couple of interesting things, I think, that we can do moving forward, a couple of changes that we're going to make to the content, a couple of, I thought of a couple of ways on how we could get um, more competitive Yu-Gi-Oh content, more in-depth Yu-Gi-Oh content out there, especially um, when it comes to, to gameplay, you know, like that's, that's one thing I think that is lacking in the TCG department. You know, because like it's really just I mean, people are playing DB and that's it. I think uh, I think there's better ways to do it. Mike, a little bit quiet. I can turn it up a little bit if you say it's a little quiet. That is no problem. That should be better now. I can also do the alerts a little bit lower. They seem a little bit loud. Uh, I The thing is, once again, I haven't changed nothing about my sound settings, but they appear to be different. Once again, I have no idea why. Anyways, here we are. Um, But yeah. First things first, as per usual, one thing that's probably not going to change is we start the stream with a little warm-up, because I would miss that way too much, so we're going to do that right now. Alerts too too small, okay. <laughs> it's, dude, I don't know, it, it, whatever. All right, uh, Cap Kermit, thank you for the Prime. Joe Bro, thank you for the Prime. XLZimLX, thank you for the two gift subs. Bubble Tea, thank you for the... Prime and ZV, thank you for the five months. Appreciate you guys. Welcome back. Kitty Cutie as well. Thank you for the Prime. Okay. Let's get some cards. I've seen this. This is Kaiju. But I don't know if it's Kaiju Files or the Capture Mission. I think it's the Capture Mission. Yes. 
Uh, pa, pa, pa. Is this the Attic Nister? No. Is it? Oh, it is. This is Ignister. Okay, this this one. The the yeah. Okay. This is Allure Queen. Uh, I don't know if it's seven or five. I think five. Nope. Seven. Unfortunate. Uh, Salamandra. Yep. That's fitting. Uh, I believe that's Cyber's gadget. I know my Cyber's is Stone Die. Yep. That's right. All right. Uh, that is that Psychic Synchro. Oh, God. Hyper Psychic. Hyper. What is this called? Oh, it's not. Something's Blaster. It is a Blaster. Hyper Psychic Blaster. I think that's the one. Yes. I didn't know that had an Assault Mode. I did not know that had an Assault Mode, but apparently it does. Okay, I think this is the first one I don't know. It looks like a very old vanilla. I don't know its name. The Shadow Who Controls the Dark. Uh, ooh. What is that? Stairs? Stairs. It is the stairs. Okay. Oh, Dante. Riolu, thank you for the seven. Valverde, thank you for the five. Appreciate you guys. This is looking like a Gen X. Gen X. But I don't... Maybe it's all, is, it might be an Ally of Justice. One of the two. Ally of Justice. Okay. Ooh. This is the Chronomaly background, isn't it? But... There's this many? Magella Globe? I didn't know there was that many Chronomalies. God damn. Okay, thank God you knew that. Ooh. Um, this is something like Gift of the Phantom... Phantom Gift? Phantom... Uh, it's a trap card. Yeah, you know that. Gift of the... It is Gift of the Phantom. Okay, I thought it was... No, it, no it's not. No, it's not. What is it? I'm confused. I've seen it. Deal of Phantom. God damn it. God damn it. I lost so much time on that because I knew I had seen it. Okay, that's Buster Destruction Sword stuff. I don't know that. Karma of the Destruction Swordsman. Okay. Ooh, Rose, uh, Empress, uh, Princess Autumn. Yeah. That's Ice Barrier. Uh, that's like metal, mid, mid, that, that one. Who are you? I do not know. Umbral Horror Ghost. Ooh, I think that's a Fire Fist. But I'm not entirely sure. It is a Fire Fist. Which one is that? Elephant? It is Elephant. Yeah. Toxic Rain, thank you for the two months. Appreciate the support, everybody. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Welcome back. We did drop a lot of subs during the last couple days because I wasn't live. I'm glad to have you all back. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is that a dragon dragon maid? The blue one? Yeah. It looks like Zaborg. Is it Mega Zaborg? Or is it just regular Zaborg? Oh, it's regular Zaborg. Uh, the Great... Uh, what's the name, dude? Great... The Zard, that one. Doesn't have a D. Yeah. Aquaman, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Oh, that's Broken Bamboo Sword. That is a Metal Foe. It's not Electromite, I don't think. Is it Electromite? Mithrillium. Oh, yeah, it's Mithrillium, I think. Yeah, the Fusion. That they used to make back then. Uh, Cosmo. Oh, it's not a. It's not a Cosmo. Oh, it's Dyson Sphere. You guys are right. I think you guys are right. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was Dark Eclipse or some. I've seen this one. Is it Chaos End? No, it's not Chaos End. Checkmate, checkmate. That's a rank up. Okay. No, I'm skipping the rank up. I'm not even trying. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, 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 no shot. No shot. Raid force. Okay. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Uh, this might be Gagaga. -ga -ga. Which? No. Which raider? Oh, the Vision Hero. Right. I remember. Where did you play that? Was that Duel Links? Was that a Duel Links card once? I think so. I've seen this, but I'm not sure what it's called. Revival of Dokuro Rider. Uh, please be fortissimo. Thank God. Oh, wait, that's Cleaver Genius. Yeah. Uh, that's ad lib. Ooh, no, no, I don't know it. Illusionist, faceless magician. <laughs> I haven't seen it. What's on it, uh, Flipper? What's on the banner? <laughs> Tell me. Ooh, this is um, is this Angmarl? It's not going to be that good of a round today. Ooh, this is Gaia Plate, I think. Please? Yeah. Edison card? Somewhat. Not that relevant in Edison, even. Uh, is that just Branded Fusion? That's Branded Fusion. Bur bonfire burns through everything, even your pocket, your wallets. That's funny. Uh, Lost Blue Breaker, I think, yeah. Uh, 
looking like cyber support, I think, but... Oh, it's Evil Twin. No, it's not even that. Is it Evil Twin? I don't know. Uh, what is this tree beast called? I, is it... Oh, it's Sylvan Charity? Really? Oh, it is. Who is this? Fortune Fairy? Fortune Fairy, but which one is Fire? Oh, it's not. Solitaire Magician? Solitaire. Okay. It's invo Invocation. Ancient gear. But what is that? Ancient gear Vivern? Yeah. Ooh, Cyber Jar. Cyber Jar. Oh god, I don't I I've seen it, I know it, but there's no shot I'm naming it right now. There's no way. Mysterious guard. Nah, some flip effect. This one I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Cypher yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. Uh owl. Good luck. Owl of luck. Yes. Mm -mm. Uh, swallow's nest. Yeah. Oh, this is ice barrier. I'm skipping the ice barrier, man. I think. Samurai general, I don't know, man. Samurai of the ice barrier, yeah, probably one of the easier ones, but you never know. There's like a two billion ice barriers. That's cash tira. It's um, is it theosis or wraith sauce? Oh, it's it's wraith sauce. Right, yeah. Uh. What is the one with just the bubbles? Bubble... It's not blaster. Shuffle? Shuffle. It's another ally of justice or Gen X sort of lore thingy. Reaper of Heroes, thank you for the six months. And Flipper, thank you for the... Oh, no, I already said that, but... Well, thank you again. Bro, can I get 700 at least? How am I not knowing any of these cards? The hell is this? Yo, Senju? God damn, give me a card I've seen. We have 40 seconds. I need four points. What the hell is this? Just one card I've seen before. Oh yeah, give me give, give me a floodgate. I don't care. <laughs> I have seen the floodgate before. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh I think that's slacker. Yeah. Streamer has to rely on floodgate. Yep, I need the floodgate to win. Well, <laughs> It's average, man. And average means washed in chat. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It could have been better. Could have been worse, though. Could have been worse. 
All right. We are looking for a an effect monster that is higher than level 4, not a dark, has relatively high attack, low defense, and is newer than 2015. <laughs> no god thank you for the 17 months and the 1.2 percent of the bonfire playset what is the what is the situation on bonfire right now how much is it right now like 70 on pre-sales which i don't think it means that much but yeah fenrir i'm pretty sure fenrir has higher defense than 1500 um let's do let's do something like let's do pancratops Okay. It is 2600 attack, but it is not just an effect monster. So it could be, and it's not a link because it has more than zero defense, which means it's what? A synchro? It could be a synchro or a pendulum. You know, 2016, 2017, there's a lot of pendulums. So it's a pendulum, a fusion, or a synchro. Um, with 2600 attack, level 5 or 6. Some Gaia? Gaia... I mean, the Gaia Synchro is way too old. The Gaia... Exceed is a rank 7. Also, it's older than that. I don't think it's a Gaia. Dark Strike Fighter is not from 2016. Mithrilium? Ooh, is Mithrilium 2600? Ooh. It could genuinely be Mithrilium. That's crazy. Have we had that before? That a card happened in the card guesser and then was the, the YG order of the day? I'm sure that... I mean, has that happened before? I don't remember that. I don't know if that's happened before. Maybe it has. I don't know. That felt, that felt crazy. Okay, well, that wasn't that hard. Uh, Paul Gobba, thank you for the Prime. Shinobu, thank you for the Prime. Welcome back, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Flow Freeze, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, opinion on the Silent Forest cards? Uh, okay, so I'm, I, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt because I have not played with the Silent Forest cards at all yet. Um, but they seem, they seem pretty cool. They seem pretty cool. They seem like the kind of thing where... My expectation for it is that when, uh, when like Phantom Nightmare comes out, the fire decks are going to be like the tier one sort of situation and the silent force stuff or voiceless voice, how you should probably call it, because that's what it's going to be like in the TCG, right? That's what it's going to be called, um, is more likely to be joining the format as like a viable tier two to tier three strategy where exactly it's going to settle. I don't know. But I think it's going to be viable, just not like best deck in the format kind of vibes I'm getting from it, right? From what I've seen, from what I've, from what I've seen in the OCG, from what I've seen people do with it in like other, other scenarios, I think it seems playable, uh, especially considering, you know, how it could be a viable, you know, I think, I think one thing that's going to be very important in the next format for a lot of people is going to be how expensive is a deck, right? Because like the tier one decks, let's face it, are going to be very expensive if we're talking the fire decks, right? Um, so anything that I think anything that is considerably like tier 1.5, tier two around that thing and is not that expensive w would be something that people would be very interested in. Uh, and I think Voices Voice could be that. Of course, we don't know the rarities for any of the cards yet, but I I don't think um, I don't think that you need anything terribly expensive for that deck from the old stuff, right? Any of the stuff that's currently like that's already out. I don't. Is there anything expensive that they need uh, from the old cards? Shouldn't be that much. Diviner wasn't Diviner in the Mega Tins. I remember picking up Diviners when they got reprinted, and they weren't that much. Has it gone up? Oh, it's like twenty. Okay, that might be an issue of you know, it's it's anticipation for anticipation for the for the for that deck specifically. Maybe yeah. Okay, it did go up. Okay, yeah. That's uh, I mean that's to be expected, but still, I mean compare that to like compare that to the fire stuff right uh, a play set of the viner being like 50 to 60 bucks is like you know that's manageable in comparison right so i think we're still talking if 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 it actually is like a tier 2 strategy i think that is something that 
uh, people would be interested in. Yeah. Will you play Master Duel today? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to playing Master Duel. We're going to be we're going to be playing the new format. I was kind of, you know, it, it was kind of awkward last week because I, I kind of set my mind to I, I wanted to take those two days off. Right. And, and prepare some content and all that kind of stuff. And then I realized, but the, the set drops on Wednesday or, or Thursday or whenever it was, right? But then I, I decided to pull through and still take the two days off um, because I figured, you know, we could just do it next week. But then seeing everyone else already, seeing everyone else already go into the, into the, the, the packs and all that and play the new format, uh, I felt kind of, you know, I had a little bit of that FOMO, right? Cause I, but it was, it's fine. Uh, text Force, thank you for the five months. I mean, Super Heavy Samurai is scary to have in the format. I'm not the biggest fan of the of the the way the deck plays. Of course, you guys know that it's com it's just a combo deck. But we're gonna try it today. We're gonna see how good it really is, um, and so on and so forth. Before we do that, though, uh, before we do that, though, um, we have a couple of new cards that I missed. Uh, that we're quickly gonna go over because I'm sure you guys have seen uh, a bunch of them already. Um, I haven't read any of them yet, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, motion stuff. Thank you for the for the sub. Appreciate you guys. Okay, we have Barrier of Bewitchment, Mirage Mirror Force, or yeah, Mirage Mirror Force, normal trap card. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Special summon an illusion monster from your hand or grave, and if you do, return the attacking monster to the hand. If a face-up illusion monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while this card is in your grave, uh, you can banish this card, special summon one illusion monster from your hand or graveyard. Uh, long story short, this is pack filler. I'm pretty sure there is no shot. This card is good in the year 2024. That is simply not strong enough for a trap card unfortunately so I, I don't think we need to spend too much time on him uh which is unfortunate because that's mostly what's been happening to illusion support early on i feel like illusion support is somehow weirdly tied into like anime legacy support kind of stuff right because a lot of the stuff somewhat reminds me of old cards you know like there's a new mirror force the nightmare magician is kind of like an illusion version of dark magician i don't know uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see, but so far I'm not I'm not super impressed by all of the illusion stuff that's been re uh, released. Uh, here we do have um, Hell Grave Squirmer, which is a a Grave Squirmer uh, upgrade, I suppose. That's a very old card from like some duelist pack from back in the day. Um, Level 1, 0 attack, 0 defense, fiend monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card to name each once per turn. If you control a fiend monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can destroy one monster you control that's you bell or mentions it. Oh, it's you bell support. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon a fiend monster with 0 attack, defense from hand or grave, except grave squirmer. Um, that is a good card. You know, being able to special summon itself from the hand if you control a fiend monster. Uh, and then it has a bonus effect in the graveyard. You can use both effects in the same turn. That is a good card. Now, is that going to make you bell viable? I don't know. Uh, one thing to note is that this is generic, quote-unquote. I don't know if there is any other level 1 fiend with zero attack, zero defense. That you could easily... Um, that you can easily pair up with this. Like, I don't know, if is there like DD Savant Kepler? Should be a 0-0, zero, zero, but that's a pendulum. So it doesn't always go into the graveyard, because the second effect you want to be summoning from the graveyard, ideally, right? Sacred Beasts. Sacred Beasts, right? That's a 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. It's a good card. Let's let's leave it at that. We don't have to we don't have to cook anything up at that point. Like at this point, I don't know how like how this would work in a sacred beast deck or in a U Bell deck or in a DDD deck. You know, it, but it's a it's a solid card. You know, just summon it from hand and then have a graveyard effect. That's a that's a solid recipe. And then we have Nightmare Throne, which is a field spell card. Ooh, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can take a fiend monster with zero attack, zero defense from your deck and either add it to your hand or destroy it. 
Once per turn, if a face-up Ubel monster you control leaves the field by card effect, you can add to your hand one of your Ubel monsters banished or in your deck or graveyard and is one original level higher or lower than one of those monsters that left the field. Then you can special summon the added monster ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay, two things. Uh, completely disregarding the second effect. Uh, this card is already good in general, right? Because... I remember when DDD had a short time in the TCG where it was playable. Like, I remember Pack, I believe, topped like a remote YCS with it. And I think Pack played Piri Rise Map to search Keplar, right? Um, this thing is just better than that, right? It's just you don't have to, you don't lose half your life points to search a Keplar, right? So, any deck that has a, level, has a Fiend monster with zero attack, zero defense, you can you can play this card in right that that is already a good card on its own um to just add a fiend from your deck to your hand the second part obviously is only viable in you bell decks um and, and like honestly you bell i don't know if i don't know if that has a chance to see play these days i mean uh, yeah i don't know i don't know if you bell cards are strong enough in, on their own, but the support is really good. The support is really good, but I think it's going to be... I, I think U-Bell on its own, even the even the highest... Like, what is it? It's U-Bell, then you have Terror Incarnation, and then something U-Bell Nightmare or something like that, you know? Uh, yeah. Ultimate Nightmare. U-Bell the Ultimate Nightmare, yeah. I think even that is just a little bit too easy to out nowadays, you know? Don't forget the new U Bell card in Phantom Nightmare. I think once we get around to these cards, we might take a look at the, the deck as a whole. But my prediction, once again, completely complete prediction, is that both of these cards have potential to see played in like a generic fashion in other decks. The U Bell deck itself probably becomes somewhat playable with these, um, but I... I don't think it would be viable competitively just off of these, but we'll see. Uh, then we have illusion support. I think two, both of these are illusions. Yeah, because they are once again vanilla remakes from back in the day, which I don't even know if we have these as TCG cards. Golgoyle and Talents of Shurilane. I don't think we have those even as printed TCG cards. Some of those vanillas, I, I don't think I've seen them before. But they are very old. Well, I've seen them in the, in the games, but I'm not sure if we have them as cards. But yeah. Either way, hopefully this illusion support is a little bit better than the freaking Mirror Force. Uh, Talons of Shurilane. Level 6 Light Illusion Effect Monster. You can only use the first and third effect of this card name once per turn. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, target a fiend or illusion you control, except itself, return it to the hand, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Okay. That is a useful effect because it can dodge... Oh no, it's only your opponent's turn. Okay, that's not that useful then. Oh, I thought it was just a quick effect. Okay, that makes it not as good. If this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets your cards... You can target one monster your opponent controls, or turn this card from the field to the hand, and if you do, destroy that monster. Yeah, this card's terrible. This card is unusable pack filler. Simply because it is only during the opponent's turn. It's just, it's, it's the, the card literally ha is a vanilla when you go first. And going second, honestly, it's also a freaking vanilla because you cannot summon it on your opponent's first turn either because, yes, it's during your opponent's turn, but you're not going to have a Fiend or Illusion on the board. Just that. Yeah, this, this is complete trash. Complete trash. Uh, Golgoyle, the Great Gin of Steel. Level 10 Earth Illusion effect. You can only use the second and third. Uh of these cards once per turn. If this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed. Anyone else confused that they put this clause at like random points throughout the effect? Why is it not always the first effect? Why is some why is it sometimes effect number two, then it's effect number one, effect number freaking five? Why why is this why are they doing that? 
just to piss me off. I don't know. Because, like, we all know that every illusion effect monster is supposed to have that trait. So why not just put it in the beginning on all of them? I it could, Well, anyways. If your machine or illusion monster battles, after damage calculation, you can target one of your monsters that's banished or in your grave, special summon it. If this card is banished from the field, you can special summon it. This is also trash. This is complete guard. Why are they making these cards? These cards are not even good like 10 years ago. I don't understand. Why, why, how are, why are they giving us this as the illusion cards? They are completely unusable. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> and then, then we have this. To boot, there's a new freaking math equation card. There's a new math equation card, uh, which is probably the king of pack fillers. So let's just read it and see if we freaking understand what's going on. Okay. We have equation system cannon, normal trap card, banish two XYZ monsters with the same rank, and one fusion monster from your extra deck whose combined levels and ranks equal the total number of cards on the field and in both players' hands. Then, you can return one of each of your banished fusion and Xyz monsters to the extra deck, whose combined level and rank equal the level or rank of one face-up monster your opponent controls, then banish all cards your opponent controls. Okay. <laughs> uh, i get it because it is actually an equation system it's because it's two equations that you need to solve right the first equation is the the two exceed monsters plus the fusion monster level has to equal the total of cards on the field and hand and then the second equation has to be one one of the fusion and one of the exceeds level slash rank has to equal one of the level or ranks of a face-up monster your opponent controls. So there's two equations that you need to be able to solve, right? You have like, um, like let's say if freaking if the exceed monster's rank is X and the fusion monster's uh, level is Y, and the total number of cards on the in hand on field is Z, you have to go two X plus Y equals Z, and then uh, 1x plus y has to equal the level or rank of one face-up monster your opponent controls, right? Which, it, it, it's funny. It's funny. I, I get it. <laughs> I failed math. I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> it is very funny. The card is bad, quite simply. It's just way too freaking situational. It is way too freaking situational uh, because you would have you would have to play so many different uh, exceeds and fusions for this to even be viable, right? You have to play. You would have to play so many different exceeds and fusions. Yeah, but it is funny. It is funny. Which honestly, I ap I appreciate a card like this one way more than these. Uh, not th not this one. The, you you're fine. But like these are just straight up unusable. This one is unusable, but at least funny. Like this has meme potential. You know, like it, it's it's like if you want to commit your entire extra deck to uh to to maybe use this card once in your in your life, then you can do so, and it would be very funny, right? It would be very very funny. But, uh, you know, you, can, you, you at least see the, the meme potential here. Here, it's just like, you're going to open this card, you're going to put it in your, in your drawer, and it's never going to see the light of day. It is worth noting that if you play a lot of different... <laughs> it's like, it's not completely impossible, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Transaction rollback to banish the entire field? Uh, no, that does not work. Because this is not cost. This is all part of the effect. It does not work with transaction rollback. You still have to use it. Well, you can use it with trans transaction rollback, but you still have to do all of this. 
it's not like you can skip these steps to just banish the to banish the field. But then, then we would actually be talking. You know, if you could just if you could just use this with transaction rollback to banish your opponent's entire field because you have to do nothing else, then okay, maybe you maybe we could maybe we were talking, but that's not actually how it works. That's not how it works. Math degree labyrinth players are taking massive dubs. <laughs> I mean, I don't think so, but sure, you do you. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the that's the batches of new cards. Let us not waste any more time. Genosaur, thank you for the 20 month. Appreciate the long time support. Thank you so much. Welcome back, everybody. Let me boot up the game because we have some new things to try out in Master Duel. Have you looked at the new Diabellstar card? Is it the, the big and buff populace? If so, yes. If so, yes, I have. The, the big populace we've, we've looked at last time. New Diabellstar. Wait, there's a new Diabellstar? Okay, may, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe we are not moving on to Master Duel just yet. Maybe there's one more thing I need to look at. The new witch? Wait, there's a new witch? Hold up. Ah, uh, new cards. Wait, where is it? Is it not on YG organization? Or did I? Am I? Am I blind? Oh, I actually haven't seen that. Okay. Thank you for the link. All right. Uh, no, I have not seen that one at all. When did this happen? January 9th? That's six days ago. How did I miss this? How did I miss this? Okay, anyways. Uh, Connor Joe, thank you for the 16. B Hunter, thank you for the 8. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Diabelza of the Original Sin. Okay. But it's not called Diabell Star, so you can't search it with Wanted, right? You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. If there is a Sinful Spoils card in either graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot activate spell and trap cards that were not set. If a spell trap is set to the field while this monster is on the field, you can target one card your you control and one card your opponent controls destroy them. Okay. The first thing that I'm noticing is that there is a, a decent amount of uh, floodgate potential here, because if you pair it with something like, what, what like freaking Denko Seka and this, you can't activate spell traps. <laughs> Uh, illusion, by the way. I mean, I don't know how much that matters, though. Does it matter that it's an illusion? Illusion doesn't have great support just yet, but okay. Uh, just think. Thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate that. If there's a sin, I, I kind of, I kind of like, do I like this? They're kind of continuing that theme of, the sinful spoil cards kind of working in like a mirror match sort of setting where they kind of which does make sense to my understanding because it's the the whole lore behind it is that you're kind of like chasing diabell star and so on and so forth right like diabell star is like a wanted criminal or some shit like that i don't know the lord don't quote me on the lore please but in my head it kind of makes sense that you're some of your diabell star cards are working against your opponent's snake eye or a sinful spoil or diabell star cards I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's the, this is the the thing is the the reason why I'm not too worried about this um, is that people are saying like, oh, you pair this with with anti spell fragrance and you win the game. Um, I'll um, I'll give you a hint. Anti spell already wins the game on its own. Like I I don't need no freaking diabells of the original sin. To win the game with uh, anti spell fragrance, okay? Like it's not that big of a deal, right? 
uh, as like a combination with anti-spell or whatever. It does protect you from imperm or evenly. That is true. That's a valid point. Is that enough reason to play a card? Usually not. Usually not. Um, I, I, I don't think this card is strong enough to see play, to be honest, because it doesn't really do much. Like, it's just... These sort of cards are usually not that strong cards that do nothing else but you just special summon itself from the hand and then it's meant to be an end board piece right there's not that many of these that people actually play because they don't provide much to your strategy outside of just hey uh, if you can already play the game uh you can just special summon me from from your hand and then i'll i'll just sit there right uh, I, I don't think that's very powerful. I don't think that's something that people are really going to use, especially because it's not searchable with Wanted. If you could search this with, with Wanted, sure. If I can search it with Wanted and play a one-off, that if I already have Diabell Star, I can just search this and summon it, okay. But because you can't do that, I don't think, I don't think this card is that good. You can? It, well, according to this, it, it's not called Diabell Star. Read the next. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we have Sinful Spoils Cycle. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Take a level 5 or higher illusion monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Uh, if summoned this way, it cannot activate its effect during the main phase this turn. You can banish this card from your grave, then target a face down card you control, return it to the hand, then you can set a spell and trap from your hand. Uh... So you, you guys are saying you're going to use this trap card to summon this? You guys are mad coping. Setting a card procs her third effect? Yeah, and you can't use it during the main phase. You can't use it. Dia Bellstar sets it. Okay, so you're setting this. You're setting this trap card with Dia Bellstar instead of the sinful spoil snake eye, which ends in like a, an omega crazy board, right? In an omega, you you rather rather than ending on an omega crazy fucked up board with the with summoning a level one fire from your deck, which ends up having like you know infinite resources and all that. Uh, you're just gonna you're just gonna set this trap card and pass the turn. This is being used in Labyrinth. I mean, I, I'm not saying the card is not use, usable at all. It's not, it's, not that it's, it's not that it's unusable. I'm just saying that at the current state, in the current state of, of Fire King Snake Eye decks or whatever, there is no way that this is even close to competing with the power level of the other cards. Like, there's no shot that this is better than doing the fire combos that you already have. Uh, like, you know, in the side for Pearly, Pendulum, and Runic. Okay, yeah, okay. Th th now we're talking. All right. If you're playing, if you're playing a Dia Bellstar package or, or maybe even Labyrinth that can access normal trap cards and you want to side deck this for specific matchups where it's really good, like Runic, like Pearly, whatever. Okay. No, I can, I can see that. I can see that. That's, the, the cards are viable. They are not unplayable pieces of pack filler. You know, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say the amount of hype that people are creating right now, at least from what I'm getting in chat, like people are like, oh my God, read the next card. It's going to be crazy. Like these cards are not that good. These cards are not that good uh, when it comes to that. And I'm going to be honest with you, even, even as a searchable trap card, I am not sure if this is better than other options because this is this one is a brick then in your labyrinth deck, right? This is a complete brick. And um just for this to be like your auto win button, right? But if you can search any trap card in the game with your labyrinth deck, also spoilers, you can probably win the game anyways. Like you can search freaking magic deflector. You don't have to play a, a brick for that. Uh, and Magic Deflector also kills Runic and Pearly. Like, legit. Like, why are you playing this? What are you playing this for? 
you can you can go D barrier, which is also good against both decks. Like you don't need to play you don't need to play a, a normal trap card that has like a, a brick in the deck. You can eradicate them. Like uh, uh, you guys realize how good these trap cards that we already have are. Like the uh, no, I don't know. Moving on. Sinful spoils of dozing Morrigan normal trap. You can only uh, you can o you can use only one of the two effects uh, and only once that turn. Target a face up special summon monster. Uh, change it to face down. If you control the level 5 or higher illusion and this card is in your grave, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, so like a... a double book kind of deal. I don't know if, I'll, if that's good enough. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a feeling here. I'm getting a feeling here that the Diabell Star Snake Eye sort of lore is getting the branded treatment. It's getting the branded treatment and hear me out. Um, it seems to be getting a lot of support way more than a deck would actually need to be viable because let's face it, like it's already, it's already a top tier deck. It doesn't need more support. It doesn't need more support. Uh, they just, they just print more because they can, um, but they still need to be careful to not make it too powerful because otherwise, I mean, you can't just print more broken support for a deck that's already freaking tier one by so much. So they're kind of printing this half-ass support. Like, that's not terrible, but also no way it's better than what they already have, which was the same with Branded. Branded got a lot of cards that, in theory, were like, you read it and you're like, ah, that's a playable card, right? But then Branded already had so many good cards that all, a lot of these cool cards that they made didn't even make its way into Branded. Or if they did only, like, a random one-off in some lists, right? Um... And this is the same vibe that I'm getting from all of these cards. Because none of these three cards are bad cards. They're all somewhat interesting. You can think of combos and ways to use them. But there is, quite frankly, no way that they are better than what already exists in the Sinful Spoil Snake Eye realm. Red Diabell Star sort of stuff, right? There is no shot any of this can compete with the cards that already out there unless man maybe maybe that's their goal with it is that you maybe could play a sinful spoil snake eye sort of more budget uh version with some of these cards instead of i don't know i mean wanted or some shit like that uh, which would make it a little bit more accessible on like a on like a less competitive scale right you still get to play with the diabell star archetype even if you can't afford the super expensive cards you can just play like a little watered down verse version but at least you can play it you know maybe that's maybe that's a thing right i don't know that shouldn't be a thing at all i mean i agree i'm just saying what 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 might be their reasoning but yeah okay all right let me boot up Master Duel, and then I'll tell you what we're doing today. And I'll tell you what we're not doing today. There's one thing that we are not doing today, and that is we are not opening packs, because I already did that yesterday. And hear me out before you go on a people riot, okay? Before you go on a people riot. My reasoning was simple. My reasoning was simple. I just wanted to I wanted to prepare the stream as best as I can so we have the maximum of time amount of time to play was the actual reasoning. And I'm going to be honest with you, you guys didn't miss anything. Uh because literally um this this uh is literally how I was looking when I was opening my packs yesterday. This is literal footage of me when I opened my 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 when I spent every single last gem Yesterday and freaking, uh, where is it? <laughs> Hold up. I freak. There was a at, at some point. At some point, I ended up with freaking five performer pal celestial magicians and zero vakaushis. And let me tell you, I have three vakaushis now. I have three vakaushis now. I pulled zero of them. Zero. I spent every last gem that I had. Pepega credited in. Spent every single gem again. Pepega credited in again. Spent all the gems. 
Zero Vakaushis. Zero. Zero Vakaushis. So it would have just been it would have just been painful yesterday. It would have been uh, uh, like doing it live on stream. I would have cried. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> What we're going to do today, um, and probably, we, I don't think we can do all of the things I want to do for the new ban list and new cards and all that in one single stream. So we're not going to get done with everything, but there's a couple things I want to play and I want to learn and, and have a look at. And obviously, I think the elephant in the room is Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, that I want to I wanna play test a little bit, see if it's really that bad for the game, you know, because I, I'm personally, I am a little bit scared of Super Heavy Samurai. Kind of like uh, this kind of super high combo sort of style deck. Um, I really hope it's not going to be around for for too long. And I hope it doesn't, um, you know, it, it doesn't completely take over the game. We will find out. Um, Menadium is another deck I wanted to take a quick look at today. Maybe later. I want to start with Super Heavy Samurai. But I, but I also built a Menadium deck. I still have to cut one card from the extra deck. I have to decide that later. But I, I think Menadium is worth looking into at this point. It's almost full power. I think the only card it is missing would be um, Visa Samsara and Crimson Dragon. But I think it's playable without those. We'll have to wait and see. So for Super Heavy Samurai... For Super Heavy Samurai... Um, this is not my final list. We still have to cut five cards. Um, and one card from the extra deck. And then we can, we can try it out. So let's, um, let's talk about what five cards I want to cut. Um, and for that, I need a, I need your help a little bit because cards like um, cards like Ghost Ogre and Drollin Lockbird, they depend a lot on what people are playing in the format right now. Um, like, are people playing a lot of Super Heavy Samurai? If I go into what am I? I I'm either I'm, I don't know if I'm already Master Rank, but Diamond at the very least. Like, is there a lot of is there a lot of super heavy samurai? Because if that's the case, I I'm I'm down to play Ghost Ogre. Um, and it's also good against something like Pearly if they play it, or sprites if they if that's still a thing. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna keep Ogre and Droll for now if I'm expecting mirror matches, which probably means we have to cut Effect Veiler. Um, the one other thing that I could uh, cut is the second copy of Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Um, quite frankly, I'm most lists that I see have only one. The only thing I'm scared of, the only thing I am scared of, is what happens if I draw it? I haven't learned the combos yet for when you draw the scales. Like, I know what standard combo I want to go for. Um, I know which kind of standard combo I want to go for. But if it's possible to, to do a good combo with only one scales, if you draw it, then I'm fine. You just pendulum summon it? I, I, I figured that's what you would do, yeah. Uh, so what do I cut? Do I just cut Effect Veiler? I suppose Effect Veiler doesn't do that much in the mirror unless you pair it with Nibiru. So we could do something like this. We could do that. And then from the extra deck, mm, we could cut Stardust, but I kind of want to play Stardust to play around Nib. Even though I don't think Nib hurts that much on that spot, but it's insane if you play uh, this. Cut Savage. I want to. I want to end on Savage though. I've looked at the lines this morning, and I wanted to. My end board. What I'm shooting for is Appaloosa, Baron, Savage, Regulus. That's what I'm trying to make. You will never finish on Savage. You can literally finish on Savage if you want to. How does Stardust dodge Nib? Okay, so hold up. Um, I'll just cut. Uh, let me cut something random for now. Let's cut the. Uh, let's cut the elf real quick, and I'll go 
into the solo mode and show you because there is let's be let's be real here there is a thousand different ways on how you can play the first stand the standard combo with super heavy samurai well like if you if you go over Kaushi, uh there's there's a billion different ways you can do it right and uh at that point just just freaking go go and uh freaking google uh super heavy samurai spreadsheet or something like that there's a there's a lot of resources out there on that i remember i think super Paludo was the name uh where that of the guy with the earth machine spreadsheet and they had a lot of like if you if you're interested in different ways of doing it then by all means go go out there and try different variations um we're not going to be able to we're literally not going to be able to talk about every single possible way you you can go about it um but the thing is where do i go where do i go to just play do a solo hand they really need to add a freaking solo mode i feel like going first okay so the combo that i want to go for let me see i i, I practiced it a little bit this morning okay i didn't break phenomenal uh and once again the way Super Heavy Samurai works, right? There are four different cards in your deck that you can open that will all result in the same combo. And that's either... That's the Motorbike, the Vakaushi, the Vagon, or the Soul Piercer. One of those, which is 12 cards, uh, is going to be a um, full combo. And there's they, they are only different in the beginning. They are only different in, in the very beginning. But okay, so what I wanted to go for, and there is, once again, there is different ways of doing it, and people in chat are going to be like, yeah, this is a better way of doing it. I've decided, I, I think I, I want to go for it in, in, in this fashion. Hold up. So you're always going to try to go for, okay, what do I have to add here? The Soul Piers Maker. Yeah. Then you go with this, you discard. I'm going to discard the maxi so it doesn't ask me to use it the entire time, right? Bring this here, make um, Axel. Could have just toggled off. There is one very important point that I'm going to mention to you in a second that I noticed this morning, literally, where you cannot toggle off. Uh, because I believe it's some hand... Which one is the hand trigger that I'm talking about? There's one hand trigger that's different in the... Oh, Ancient Gearbox. If you toggle off, it's not going to ask you to activate Ancient Gearbox. That's what I noticed this morning. Because I did the exact same thing this morning to, to, to look at the different lines in Master Duel. And I had Maxi in hand and I toggled off. And then it didn't ask me for Ancient Gearbox. Because the way it works in the, in the OCG and also in Master Duel is that hand triggers is, uh, are considered quick effects. And when you toggle off, it will not ask you for quick effects. So just be aware of that. Be aware of that. So if you play Stardust, and that's probably the reason why I want to keep playing Stardust, uh, is if you play Stardust, you can activate... If they nib here, you can chain Axel Stardust to make uh, Baron anyways, right? And if they have something like nib Imperm, we can just activate the, the Stardust here, the Axel Stardust, to summon a Stardust, and that's going to make our Baron... Uh, it's going to make our Baron unaffected. So we, we play around Imperm Nib, basically, or Veiler Nib, anything of that nature, right? Because the Baron is unaffected, right? You could Nibiru before the summon of Bike. You could. You could. When I summon Axel Stardust and they chain Nib, I still get the Bike, though. And then I can still... Um, I can still do a lot of stuff after, right? Because I still have a Pendulum Summon, and if I get the Bike, you know? Anyways, this, basically, this situation... Uh, you can reach this exact same spot no matter what you start with. Soul Piercer, Vakaushi, um, Vagon, or Bike all lead to this situation, right? With the Soul Pierce Maker in hand. 
the question is essentially where do you go from here and this is where this is where opinions differ on super heavy samurai and honestly i i think um i think super heavy samurai is actually a very interesting deck when it comes to deck building decisions and stuff like that which is why i want to talk about it um one obviously obviously freaking the the concept of the deck is is cringe we don't have to talk about it the decks the whole decks idea is one card combo into the most crazy board possible right like it, it, i'm not a fan of this i i don't like this i i do not like it there's even ftks you can do with the cards and all on all that kind of stuff i i i don't like the the concept of the deck right but there is a lot of things in this deck that are very, very interesting because I think Super Heavy Samurai, no matter how cringe its actual gameplay is, I think deck building wise, it's an interesting deck because you have very unique restrictions, you know, no spell traps. Um, and um, there's a lot of different options. Basically, uh, you can make the deck end on even more than what it already can. You can FTK the opponent. It's all, a, you, you have to find a balance basically between how many bricks and engine requirements do I want to play? And how strong do I want my end board to be, right? And we can talk about different versions and different ways of ending and playing around certain anti-Super Heavy Samurai cards. And even we will talk about what is good against Super Heavy Samurai. I just want to make it clear. I, I do think this deck is very cringe. Um, Math Mech or Super Heavy Samurai, which one's more cringe? Uh, probably Super Heavy Samurai, I'll be honest with you. All right, so you're always gonna you're always gonna go into scales here, uh, and this is why I wasn't sure if I wanted to play two scales because um, if you draw it, your line is somewhat different. And I don't I don't know the line. There's probably a way to make it happen. So here is another interesting point where you're gonna make ancient gear ballista here if you're playing the ancient gear box. I have seen versions without the ancient gear box. However, I really like I really like the ancient gear box. So here, I believe you have to add this guy because this just special summons itself and I want to make a Clef or Genius before Pendulum Summoning. So you, you make, you search this little dude. And then this searches box and this is where toggling on is important because otherwise it will not ask you for box because this is a quick effect and not a trigger in Master Duel. And you search Tunneler. Right? And then you special summon this little dude which is just, if you have no spell and traps, you can special summon it. You make Leap or Genius, right? And I would, honestly, I would say even up until this point, all the lines should be doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. And then you would Pendulum Summon these three. You could Pendulum Summon more if you have more monsters, but this is not, it's not guaranteed, right? And this is also why we searched the Vakaushi earlier, because I wanted to have another tuner for um, Savage. All right? Uh, here we can do a really cool thing. I mean, cool. <laughs> we can use uh, Soul Piercer another time by equipping it with Regulus and then popping it with Baron. Uh, and then you search, I believe, this. Yes. So this is what I wanted to do. Right? You just make... Uh, you make what? You make Apo. This is a level 4 that summons itself out, and then you make Savage. And this is the combo I wanted to go for. There's other ways you can, you can do the end board. Um, but this is what I felt like was good. Uh, which one's bigger? This one. You can also add second bike over Vakaushi and change the level. See, I, that's one thing I didn't even know. Uh, once per turn, you can target a machine you control increases level by two. True, you could do that. 
Uh, this also means you could do some stuff with Elf. You could bring this back with Elf and make it a level 4 tuner as well if you wanted to in Master Duel. Um, so there is different variations of the of the combo. Like I, well, I honestly, the reason why I haven't even thought about it that much yet is uh, I don't think it matters that much to be to be exact. Like I think um, the exact combo you make to end like whatever, I don't think it's that important because you're usually you draw two cards at the end of the combo with the with the tunneler, right? Uh, you're usually going to end on this board plus some hand traps. It's freaking impossible to beat that without something like a Dark Ruler. Um, so, yeah. There is... Okay, and, and this is essentially um, the combo I, I want to be going for today. Uh, I want to try this combo, basically. Um... If you want my opinion, if you want my opinion on any of the other combos that exist for Super Heavy Samurai, I simply don't think it's worth... I'm aware that you can Artifact Scythe your opponent, you can FTK your opponent, you can Naturia Beast your opponent, you can whatever. You can do all of these. You can hand loop your opponent with Omega, which is also... That's pretty good, actually. That's a good combo. Um, but I think what you need to do... What you do need to do is um, you need to balance the amount of, of bricks that you have to play in your deck. You want to play the minimum amount of, uh, of engine requirements for the maximum output, right? And so I don't want to put... You've, you've just seen the board that I can make with this version, right? And um, I simply don't think you need to put an artifact scythe into this deck which is just a break, uh, you don't need to make that board any better, I don't think. I, I genuinely don't think you do need to make that board any better. Why the Kaiju? Because Cleaford Scout can search any level 5 or higher machine, so if you play one Kaiju, you can search a machine monster. You can, you can search the, the Kaiju if you want to. Uh, in, in situations where, I don't know, your opponent has an unoutable monster, a Towers, an Attic Nister, anything like that. I think a searchable... Um, a searchable kaiju is pretty good. Um, yeah. So I don't think you need to FTK because the FTK requires a lot more bricky cards in the main deck. And I'm going to be honest with you, that board that we just did already is an FTK, right? Um, the scythe is the same kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the... I want to be. I want to. I want to play the deck a little bit before I before I judge anything because there is a couple things that I wanted to talk about when it comes to stuff that is good against super heavy samurai. And this is on a very. It's a very surface level discussion. We're not going to go into too much detail on this, but obviously, whenever there's a combo deck in the format, whenever there's a combo deck in the format, there are decks out there that want to be playing a lot of hand traps. Right. A lot of hand traps are. Uh, good against Super Heavy Samurai, but it's also worth mentioning that some of the more traditional ones are not as good. For example, Ash Blossom is a card that is not that strong against Super Heavy Samurai, mainly because of how uh, the, the cards are designed. The most powerful card in the deck, Vakaushi, um, cannot be Ashed because it doesn't summon from the deck or add from the deck directly, right? You can ash only very minor parts of the of the of the first turn, right? You can ash like Vagon or Soul Piercer or anything like that, but there's no guarantee that that's going to like actually stop them from doing it, right? Um, ash can beat like like if they start Vagon to add and you ash it, that can stop it. However, there are so many ways they can extend through it that like you know it's 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 very very risky to rely on an ash against super heavy samurai the same is true with effect veiler and imperm they can have an impact but alone alone they are not as impactful right uh that's why i think those kind of cards ash veiler imperm which are i think the biggest three hand traps i mean besides maxi obviously maxi is good like we don't have to talk about that 
Um, but Ash Veil or Imperm are kind of like the three standard hand traps that you see a lot of in Master Duel. They don't really cut it against Super Heavy Samurai, which is why I think people might move to some more... Um, some more experimental hand traps that used to be not as good, but now with Super Heavy Samurai, they might be good. So if you are struggling with Super Heavy Samurai and you want to play hand traps to combat it, I think one very obvious one is Droll and Lockbird, because as you just saw, we search a lot. We search a lot throughout the combo. Droll and Lockbird, they can still make some sort of board under it, but not that much, uh, you know, depending on what they start with exactly. Um, they can still get somewhere, but they won't. It's not going to be nearly as bad. Um, Ghost Ogre, I think, is one of the best one-on-one -on -one kind of hand traps, you know, that's not like a Droll or Nib blowout kind of card, because Ghost Ogre does not only stop the Vakaushi from placing the big Benkei and summoning itself, it also destroys the Vakaushi, which means they're not going to get the big Benkei search, they're not going to get the Vakaushi body on the board, and they're also not going to get the Vakaushi back into the scale. Right, so it's it's a lot of stuff that it prevents. Um, it's not a once again because it is a one on one hand trap. It's not a guarantee that it's completely going to stop it. But I think ogring the Vakaushi is pretty strong. You can even ogre the Link One because the the Link One says um, y you have to summon the monster from the graveyard into the zone that it points to. So if you ogre the Link 1 after they discard for it and destroy it, then they won't be able to bring back the target. Um, but Ghost Ogre in general, very good. Very good card against Super Heavy Samurai. Not, none of these hand traps is, is guaranteed to stop it when it's the only hand trap you have. But Ghost Ogre, I think, has a significantly higher chance than Ash Veil or Imperm of... Uh, of stopping them, right? Crow is also interesting. Crowing the the Soul Piercer, as you saw, we are um, basically, you know, we're we're really um, bringing that Soul Piercer back a lot from the graveyard or Soul Peacemaker, whatever it's called. I uh, what is the Soul Pierce Soul Piercer, right? I, I said it right. Um, soul Peacemaker is the other dude. But yeah, you crow this thing. It's also pretty strong, but I would say Droll and Ogre are better than that. Uh, you might think Nibiru is a good card. You might think Nibiru is a uh, is a very good card against Super Heavy Samurai because they summon a lot, and it, it does something. It does something. However, as you noticed, we are making the, um, the Baron very early on. We make the Baron before we, uh, we Pendulum Summon and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, sometimes even before we Normal Summon. You can even make the Baron before you Normal Summon sometimes. Um, so you can still do a lot of stuff after the nib if, if, if you are forced to nib them early. Uh, one thing that is very, very potent is if you open Nibiru plus Effect Veiler because then you can just let them cook for a while hit them with the Nibiru, they Baron, you Veiler the Baron, and then you're Gucci, right? That way it works. Um, which is kind of weird, because like I said earlier, Veiler and Imperm on their own are not very good. Nib on its own is not very good. Um, if you pair them with each other, they're really strong though. But that begs the question, do I want to play those cards in the first place? Like, if, because if I draw Veiler, no Nib, it's going to be bad. If I draw Nib, no Veiler, it's going to be bad. Like... Am I, do I really want to play these cards that are not very good unless I draw them together? Like, it's risky. It's risky. Um, it doesn't work when they use Stardust in the extra deck. That is also another good point. Another good point that someone earlier someone has made was that with Ghost Ogre, um, because I'm, I'm going to show you my sample Super Heavy Samurai list once again, because almost every Super Heavy Samurai list is, I mean, they only play monsters, which is why very often you will find a card called Cyframe Gear Gamma in their deck to protect Vakaushi from uh, Ghost Ogre, Droll and Lockbird, and those kind of things. Maxi as well, right? I think if you notice that you're playing against a Super Heavy Samurai list, it might be worth keeping those hand traps until after they have a monster on the board especially Maxi and Ghost Ogre. I think this is probably the biggest reason to Ghost Ogre the, the Link 1 instead of Ghost Ogring the Vakaushi. If they start with the Vakaushi immediately and they don't have a monster on the board, you can think about Ogring later on and not risking 
getting Cyframe Gear Gamma because Cyframe Gear Gamma on Maxi or Ghost Ogre, I mean, you you just lost the game. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it matters too much if you Maxi them a little bit later. Because their turn, they're going to special summon like 20 times. It doesn't matter if you max see them on special summon number one or special summon number two. Like, just let them summon the Vakaushi and max see them later. And then the only way that they, that they can have to stop it is Ash. That's the only card that they can potentially have to stop your max C if you, if you play around Gamma. Right? I think if your hand is weak and you have a single ogre, you kind of have to gamble on Vakaushi. That is, um, that is another interesting thing to think about. Yeah, it, it's, it's always very hand dependent, which is overall why this is why I find Super Heavy Samurai at least somewhat interesting. Um, because it teaches you those sort of ways of thinking about stuff, right? A lot. Um, once again... By no means am I saying that this deck is healthy for the game. Um, but I do think there are aspects about Super Heavy Samurai that, um, that teach you some fundamentals, especially about hand trap usage, how to build your deck, how to play against this sort of strategy, how to play with this sort of strategy, right? Um, if the combo resolves, it's toxic as fuck. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to defend that. But I'm trying to point out the things that you can still do, even in a situation like that, to, um, to use your hand traps correctly, you, to build your deck correctly, and all that kind of stuff. Which I think uh, is still something to take away from this sort of format, right? Um, even though you're not going to enjoy some of the games where, you know, you, uh, you just get comboed by this deck, um, I still think there is stuff that you can learn in this format that you wouldn't be taught in other formats as much as in this one, which is why I still think it's somewhat interesting. But yeah. Long story short, hand traps. Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning that Bell is also not terrible on the Link one, but it's not as good as Crow or Ogre, I don't think. And um, Shifter is obviously strong, but not every deck can play Shifter. But that's those are like, yeah, the, the, the hand traps that you can use or do you, yet you have at your disposal. Um... Three more cards that I wanted to mention. Performer Pal 5 Rainbow Magician completely FTKs uh, Super Heavy Samurai. Um, in some decks, it even does that going second. Um, like, for example, if you're playing Labyrinth, you can, you can resolve this card immediately. Because the way this card works is, uh, while it's in the Pendulum Scale, um, each player applies one of these effects based on the number of set cards in their spell and trap zones. Zero, all monsters they control cannot attack or activate their effects. Four plus, the attack of all monsters they control become doubled. That one doesn't matter. Super Heavy Samurai, because it can only... It, ca it basically can only play monsters. Um, will not have a way to set a card to their spell and trap zone. So this card is basically Mystic Mine against them. Um, there are ways to play around this. I remember people in the TCG when Super Heavy Samurai was meta very briefly, they would side deck outs for this card, like um, Archfiend Eccentric or Clockwork Knight, which is a spell card that you can set. And even if it hits your graveyard, it banishes itself so it doesn't inter interfere with the Super Heavy Samurais, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, I suppose Scythe would uh, Scythe would uh, would do something. Sage the Fleur with the Orchid. There there was ways around it, but still, in Master Duel there's no Scythe deck. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think there's a very small chance that people that it's ever gonna be worth to main deck and out to five Rainbow Magician. That's not really a thing in Master Duel, right? Um, unless you're maybe playing a tournament like a challenger cup where you think your opponent is going to play super heavy samurai you maybe you have a secondary deck ready that plays this card but for, for the most part in master duel ranked you're not going to have an out to this card in your deck um and your opponent won't either right um one cool thing to note is that this card even in labyrinth it even works going second because if either player sets a spell trap uh to your field while this card is in your grave you can place this card in the pendulum zone simple Furniture, discard five rainbow, set a trap card from the deck, which immediately triggers five rainbow, goes into the spell and trap zone, locks your opponent out of playing the game immediately. 
Um, but there's not any other deck that can really do it that way, right? For other decks, it's only a going second card, which isn't as good because obviously Super Heavy Samurai is going to have a lot of negates. Um, two other cards that I think are especially worth thinking about if your deck doesn't really have the room to play 12 or 15 or whatever hand traps to consistently draw enough of them to stop the opponent because we've talked about it before, one hand trap usually isn't enough. Even something like Droll or Ogre which are some of the better hand traps against the deck, sometimes are not enough on their own, right? Um, but cards like Dark Ruler and Droplet, against the board that I just showed you, they are going to be enough. They are going to be enough. A Dark Ruler or a Droplet is probably going to out the entire board. However, however, two things I want to mention. The first thing, there is no guarantee that Dark Ruler or Droplet wins you the game because... Um, the combo that I just showed you ends on five cards in hand with two cards being drawn with Tunneler after you combo. So there is a very high chance because Super Heavy Samurai is a deck with a lot of hand traps that like, even if you Dark Ruler them, they might still stop you with a bunch of, um, with a bunch of hand traps, right? Um, especially, you know, Maxi, that kind of stuff, right? So... It's not a guarantee that it's going to win you the game. The other thing that, it's, that, that is also worth mentioning is that not every Super Heavy Samurai version is weak to Dark Ruler or Droplet. If you're playing against the FTK version, you're getting FTK'd. If you're playing, there's also versions that can loop your hand with Omega, right? Which, if we're going to face a lot of Dark Rulers or Droplets today, we're going to switch to that version. We're going to hand loop the opponent. We're going to be like, okay, Omega effect, banish a card from your hand, this pattern, bring back the Omega, hand rip again, that kind of stuff. You can scythe the opponent if you expect them to go for Dark Ruler. All this kind of stuff, right, um, makes it so that Dark Ruler and Droplet are not a guaranteed win against Super Heavy Samurai, right? Because if you get hand looped for two, and you have to Dark Ruler them, and they have hand traps in hand, hey, that's... You know, that's not going to be pleasant for you most of the time. Okay. That being said, that being said, um, this sort of stuff should prepare you for the Super Heavy Samurai meta a little bit more. We're going to now go ahead and try and see how bad it really is, how dominant this deck can really be. We're going to play some Super Heavy Samurai in ranked and, and just see how it goes. Like I said, once again, this is the list we're going to start with. Um... And I decided to go for this version because I, I didn't want to go FTK because of the bricks. I don't think it's necessary. I also didn't want to go for the... Um, I didn't want to go for the Scythe version because I don't think it's necessary to put a Scythe in this deck. Um, if we see a lot of Dark Rulers or Droplets today, we're going to switch to the Omega Dispatter Hand Loop version, which is also good. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'll, 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 I need to go to the toilet really quick, and then uh, we'll, start, we'll start playing. Be right back.
All right. <laughs> All right. Let's just hop right in. Honestly, this deck. Look at this. I don't get it. Stars FR, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Okay. Uh, okay, that is not a playable deck. That is a playable deck. I'm not sure about the Nibiru's even. I'm going to be honest with you. I think one as like a draw with Max C could be fine, but... Ban Scarecrow to make all the URs rot. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I unfortunately think you're onto something. I unfortunately think that's what they're going to do, which is, I, I, I think that's, uh, you know, that's uh, terrible, but I think that's the truth. Will you be doing any Manadium? Uh, it depends how long I'm feeling like playing this deck but uh i i might yeah i might okay so we're being uh fibers combo what do you ash this thing i mean they didn't have parallel exceed wait no that's a hand that's that's a quick effect they, they still could i think i ash it They do have parallel exceed. Yeah, okay. See, this is something in the TCG that they could have just chain blocked it. So I guess that's good for us, but yeah. I mean, my hopes is just that they have, that they don't have circular yet. So they're going to play into my droll here, but they're still going to end on a lot, but they're not going to have super factorial, but... Why couldn't they chain block? Uh, because the in, in Master Duel, this is not a trigger effect. Hand triggers, like you would know it in a TCG, don't exist in Master Duel. They're all quick effects. Royal freaking circular. God damn. You are disgusting. You disgust me. So, what is the end board going to be? Just terahertz? Question mark? Just terahertz? They definitely still get the terahertz, right? Yeah, just make link decoder and all that, yeah. But they use the splash mage. Yeah, they use the splash mage. They make link decoder. They make transit code. It's definitely going to be, yeah. I mean, they can't draw. They can't draw. They can. They can't draw with the heat soul immediately. But they can end on heat soul plus. Oh wait, they, they do they make the un the unaffected idiot? No, that's not enough different attributes, right? There's terror hurts. Um. Unaffected until the end of the opponent's turn. The save worm. Set one. We shall see. The biggest problem is that the save worm can negate Bakaushi. Well, okay.
That's not even that bad for me, is it? D-save can negate effects. Uh, yeah, spell trap card or effect while you control a link for higher cybers. I can out terahertz. That's not the problem. That's the problem. Still negated, right? Yep. Well, we lost the cringe mirror match. That's fine. This is the sort of thing why I don't like this deck that much. It's still it's a strong deck because if we had gone first, we would have destroyed them, but it's like, you know, the the kind of dynamics that these decks provide are just not that enjoyable. Doesn't change the fact that they're strong decks. Like Mathmech, even though I don't like it, is also a strong deck, but I don't like the dynamics that they create. Okay. Okay, we've drawn the scales, which makes it more difficult, but also our opponent has just bricked, which is uh, good. I think we start with this. Max C in hand. I mean, he probably, but... Scarecrow discard scales to summon scales. Uh, so you just do the... Okay, I see. I might try, try Manadium today as well. Okay, there's a Lockbird. That's bad. Should I have played around that by adding Vakaushi with this first? Maybe. Can I kill them? There has to be a way to kill them. The... I can Soul Pierce Maker. Uh, do you play the train? I don't play the train. I don't play any of the big synchros, no. But I'm trying to think if I can at least end on... Because I could, I could Soul Pierce Maker, the Vagon into Vakaushi. Uh, but then I can't Synchro it off. What if I... Okay, what if I... Okay, let me just freestyle it without losing too much time. Let me think. Let's do this. They have more. Pitch scales, summon scales. Okay, then I'm pretty sure then we don't kill. 
Because I was gonna, I was gonna summon back scales, which summons back the Vagon. Then I Soul Pierce Maker to summon Vakaushi from the deck, which is a tuner. I make a level eight Synchro. I get scale here. I place this other scale. I Pendulum summon two. I'm not sure if it's even game then. It's not too bad though, since their hand was a break. So I, I think it's not too bad if we just pass. Make Baguska? How do I make Baguska from this point? Because I don't have a second scaled in the deck. How would I make Baguska here? Am I missing something? No, I'm I'm actually curious. Did I miss something or like what? Am I supposed am I even supposed to ogre this? I guess I am. Yeah, okay. Can't even clear the friggin' scarecrow. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we could even, yeah. I'm trying to play around another droll. It shouldn't be too hard. Why not bike, make it four, and make Baron? Uh, well, I mean, I'm doing the same thing, right? I'm just getting the wagon search later. You wasted Vakaushi effect? Well, I have a Vagon that can search instead of Vakaushi now. Which is fine. I don't I don't see how it's a problem. Wrong zone? I mean, it, guys, they have two cards in hand completely bricked. Can we not try hard right now? Like, the game is over anyways. Oh wait, no, I need to get rid of this dude. There is certainly a point in a game where you, do, you simply don't need to worry about it anymore. Because there is legit no way we can screw this up ever.
Okay, what's the most damage we can just do? I mean, this is already... 57... 12... Kill him with the triple wagon technology. I haven't even searched with this yet. This is what we play Axel Stardust for. Because if we didn't, they could have just nip Valered us. Why not Valor the Baron? It was unaffected because it was made by Axel Stardust effect. Because we play act we, we played the OG Stardust, that's why. Okay. If you draw both, what's better to start with? I don't have Ghost. Of, I don't have Gamma to play around Maxi, anyways. I think I start with this, because they might Ash like the search. And this is why you don't need Scythe in your deck, by the way. Or FTK in your deck. Because the majority of people, if you go first and you do this, what's in your deck doesn't matter. They're just leaving. This is the thing, right? Once they see that you're playing the game, they just leave. So you don't even, you don't need, it, it doesn't matter, man. You, I don't need to put no artifact Scythe in my deck, man, for that. Like, it's irrelevant, man. <laughs> I wonder, what are the odds of breaking with 12 one-card starters? Surely it does happen sometimes. Just happened to my opponent last turn. My last game. Bro! Big Benke is glued to my fucking hand, man. So is Vakauji, though. I'll take it. Okay, they didn't max see me. Maybe they're playing around Ghost Ogre. Uh, you add the dude and just normal summon it, right? Ah, see? It begins. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We need to go through this. You see, these kind of games are not very interesting. These kind of games are not very interesting. We still need to go through it because I need to find out how good this deck is. And I also I also do think that some games when they actually do have a hand trap are are quite interesting. The problem with that is it's still a very problematic archetype design when like, hey, uh, if you don't have a hand trap, we're not playing a real game, right? That's kind of shitty. Oh no, we've drawn the box. I don't know what the plan is without the box. Uh-oh. I don't know. The... I don't know the... Okay, please don't have Maxi as well. Ha, 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 ha.
I guess it doesn't matter if you draw the box. <laughs> uh. I think the deck's overhyped. Uh, I will say, I mean, it does struggle into Maxi a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Can't even play stuff like Called by the Grave, which is probably a good thing. Oh, hold up. This, I'm pretty sure this is combo. But it's going to be awkward. I have to freestyle it. Because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. It it definitely is combo. It, it definitely is combo. I'm, I'm thinking I normal summon scales. Activate Big Benke, which adds a Super Heavy Samurai Soul. Peacemaker just gets out Piercer. I mean, I can just normal summon scales, equip Peacemaker, and summon Piercer from the deck. That also works. Uh, let me see. So we definitely normal summon scales. Okay, it's not combo. It's not combo. It's not combo. Plan B? I mean, maybe. The thing is, if I, with this hand, because it was so awkward, I didn't like going for Baguska. Is this a once per turn search? I could have just used this. I should have just searched one. Don't know why I didn't. Am I supposed to Ghost Ogre Moye? I think so. Feels okay to Ghost Ogre. I mean, what else do I Ghost Ogre against this deck? I'm Ghost Ogre Moe. We might still very well die, because, uh... Droll is also not very good here against um, Tenny Sword Soul usually. But they did they they special summon Moi surely right? Uh, Ecclesia, I mean, yeah, they special it. They still have a normal summon as well, Magnamut too. Oh, okay, Ghost Ogre. That's bad. Well, I mean, one single maxi, and we just couldn't really do anything. I guess I could have made Baguska. But it was so awkward with this, with this hand. Would have been, what, two special summons? Yeah, maybe. Goodbye, skills. Yeah, we died. We die. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is how it should be. If you're playing a crazy all-in combo deck, and your opponent has max C, this is exactly how it should be, and this is why I hate Called by the Grave so much. This is why I hate Called by the Grave, because it shouldn't be, it should, you should not be able to, to just win these games anyways. This is precisely, even though I was the one that lost this game, that's that's exactly what should have happened with Maxi. Because if there's anything that's healthy about Maxi, it was this last game. The fact that I lost to it that game was the only thing that's freaking healthy about Maxi. Uh, okay, so I think we have full combo even if the Vagon gets Valor or Imperm. So. Like we go, we go Vagon, they veil or Imperm, we equip Soul Piercer from hand and we go off King. So I think I'm gonna start with this to bait hand traps. Sadly, no hand trap to bait 
like the, to use the gamma first. Because, you know, with Vakaushi or Bike, could have potentially make, made use of the gamma, but it's fine. Chat is taking what you said literally. I mean, uh, equip Soul Piercer. Should I search Soul Gaia Booster to potentially make Baguska if I do get Max Seed? Peacemaker. I can still search Peacemaker later. If they don't have a hand trap, I have normal combo. I I I don't have to worry about it. I think I searched this in case of Maxi. Or Droll as well. Like, if they Droll me, I can just summon this out. But I guess Peacemaker is the same. It also just makes... Uh, yeah. So, I guess we just make Baguska and pass, and we get the search from the Piercer anyways. This is the- this is the plan, which is- it doesn't feel great. Oh, this should have been bike. Uh, it's fine though. Regulus. I mean, the thing is, Regulus is doesn't work while I have Baguska, so giving them a draw to summon the Regulus doesn't seem that great. Baguska should be in the EMZ. Uh, maybe. I just. I wasn't sure because next turn, if they, let's say they can't play. Um, if they can't play and it passes back to me, I kind of want my EMZ. Right? Uh, also, Mad Max and Mr. Nobody, thank you guys for the primes. Appreciate the support. Okay, we get cooked. What the hell, man? Mikanko fucks us up. At least, uh, at least Gamma is live. Am I supposed to Gamma Hare? How do they kill me? If I don't have a monster, it can't be destroyed. Uh, it's only battle though. It's only by battle. Oh, this one. Okay, right. No, the spell cards. The spell card says card effects too. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I thought it was only the green one that did that, but they all do apparently. Renaud, I sold. Oh my god, I'm gonna gamma the I sold so hard. Is this a warrior? Yeah. Good lord, okay. Do I gamma the first effect so they don't get to send shit for cost? I think so. I have to do it, right? I have to. I don't know what their plan is. Wait, does this protect from destruction? No. Wait. Eh? Doesn't that just... Oh. Eh? Okay. He can search in the end. He can't search in the end phase. Yes. True. Ooh, they could have played around Gamma. 
if they had given me a monster. Okay, I have nothing super big in the graveyard, which is good. Biggest thing they can give me is wagon in defense. But they're not doing so. Normal summon, RA. This one is not a warrior. Reflection Rondo takes driver. I am beyond confused. Link two into Lina. Lina to revive my driver. We did read uh, Equation System Canon, yeah. We did read it and we did understand it. Okay, we're taking 2,500 damage. Astonishing. Okay, I can't target. I just have to search a Kaiju to out that shit. Or Zeus them, I suppose. Yeah, it's Zeus or Kaiju. Acid Golem? You think... I mean, they, they can't give me a monster, though. Like, under normal circumstances, if they're going first and pulling off a combo, they can't, like... You know? Okay. Uh, Related cards. They searched Promise. Special Amikanko. They did search Promise, right? I didn't misremember. Special Amikanko from hand or deck. Banish that. Okay. Big Benke, man. They search rivalry. Oh. Uh, let me double check. Where is it? Wait. Oh, it was rivalry. Okay. If you control a Mikanko, target a face up monster, equip an equip spell from your deck that can equip to it. Okay, so it's a negate. It's either a negate or a uh, steal, right? Okay, so. We just go ahead. I mean, we start with... I feel like we start with Regulus. Uh... Okay, this does not work. This is like... Oh, that's bad. That's a fucked up last card to have. Okay. The regular still summons, so we're still okay. But not having Soul Piercer is going to hurt a significant amount this turn. Uh, okay, we have to we have to somewhat freestyle this turn now because I don't, I don't know what to do without that. Uh, but the card in hand is irrelevant. Yeah, we should be okay. Imperm, if you go first, is really good against Super Heavy, by the way. If you put it left or right. Because you can't really play around. No matter where it is, you can't really play around it. Okay... This also adds Super Heavy Samurai Soul, which is not ideal. Where do I get the bike from if I can't surge with Soul Piercer? Where's my bike? Well, I have Gamma for Axel anyways. That's fine, I guess. Where's my... Okay, I need the, I need the Link 1, though. Yeah, I need the Link 1 first.
I guess I keep this for next turn. I don't think I need a second big bank, eh? Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, I don't think. Why the link one? So I have something I can uh, put the soul piercer on. Later. Because if I just make Axel now, I don't have a... I can, I, I'm out of monsters on the board. Interestingly enough, this is the first, like, I think, actual good game that we're playing. We will try Manadium at some point. When I get tired of this, uh, when I get tired of this deck, we're gonna try Manadium. I already have the cards. So now we want to equip here. It's it doesn't quite work out, does it? Because I'm gonna summon this. Uh, bring back a level four. Doesn't really matter which one. But I can't search with genius. Uh, is Assault Stardust only unaffected by opponent? By opponent. So if I Zeus, I Zeus my own Baron. If I Zeus, I Zeus my own Baron. If I Ballista, I mean, I'm, I'm always going to Ballista. I don't have a good way to out this Mika what does this do? Destroy Okay. Can Baron not pop the equip? No, I can't target any of it. But I can make a Merry Maker Sargas. Okay, timer is low. It's not great, actually. Maybe I should have waited until the opponent's turn, but... I wanted to get the draw too now, but I'm kind of low on time. I'm trying to draw hand traps. Uh, scales back... No, actually, this... Oh, God! I should have shuffled back Regulus. I'm... Oh, but I'm... 
Give me hand traps. Easy clap. <laughs> they do have gear free. And arabesque. We can still very much lose the grind game here. I think we need to send this guy immediately. Okay. No loss to Kaiju, but... We can very, very easily lose here. Okay, we're, get we're getting lucky. Okay, give me a monster. Well, I mean, obviously I'm drawing a monster, but not that mod. That I can't use that monster. God damn it. My deck is 40 monsters. What the hell was I asking for, man? What the hell? Okay, well. That does not help in the slightest. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well. It is a hand trap at the very least, so maybe it helps us survive. <laughs> I got you, fam. Here's a monster. God damn it. What do you got, Kelvin? Oh, God. They top decked. Oh, he made. No. Oh, Huli. Oh, because they need to be. Oh, no. I'm ashing that shit. No, no, no. Get out of here. They needed the, 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 the quick play in the graveyard. That's why they did that. They could have just normaled Huli, but... I'm assuming they wanted to foolish the... That's not enough, right? Because this is not equipped. I was gonna die if I didn't have that Ash, by the way. I'm pretty sure I was gonna be dead. But now I'm not, right? Okay. Uh, what now? I mean, this probably settles it. Right, that's that's probably good. Just kaiju. Well, just kaiju wouldn't have done it because this thing is bigger than my Zeus. Uh Okay, the scarecrow, this is important here. It needs to go here because otherwise it would point to Zeus. I should probably not be summoning these in the middle. Both players take the damage. No, only only I do. Okay, but serious question. How do I out my own kaiju? Baron is gone. 
How do I out my own fucking kaiju? Savage is bigger than it. Hold up. Do I have a link in the grave? Not yet. Kaiju in the fence? Kaiju in the fence is my favorite response. I love you for that. That's crazy that you said that. Bro, I don't have time. I don't have time. Uh, fuck. Uh, Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cleaver genius. Here, here. Bro, no, I'm losing. Okay, how do I get genius into the graveyard? I actually. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. This tech requires thinking. No, I'm not mad about it. I think this is very normal. Especially when it's like when you're talking to chat in the meantime, talking through your plays and such. I'm not mad about it at all. It's fine. I know I was going to win the game, so it's, I'm not too worried about it. I would panic pass. I thought about passing just to get more time. I did think about that because they, I could have just passed and they couldn't really do that much. I was still at like, a, I was at 3,500. So if they don't top deck anything super relevant, I, we just win next turn. So, yeah. Do you Ash Lubelion against 40 card decks? What is it? I mean, it's unlikely to be branded because most branded are over 40. So it's like Dragon Link. I'll Ash it against Dragon Link. If it is branded, so be it. I'm not sure how bad the branded matchup even is for this deck, but I'm I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, okay, yeah. But if they just uh, what's it called? If they just mirror jade banish the the crossbow, the soul piece maker, the soul piercer rather, then you just get owned, right? Ooh, we do have something here. What is that? Ash? They did not Ash here. Interesting. Simone. There's no way. I mean, if you have Ash, you Ash there, I, don't, I think. It could be a bestial, true. It is a base seal deck after all, we know that, so that's fair enough. That's a fair assumption to make. Dragon Link was my main, Sag. I think Dragon Link is still very much playable in Master Duel. It's just that you... Um... I don't know if right now is the right format for it, but I don't think the deck is dead. It is Ash. Interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean probably incorrect. Because now that I have this thing in the graveyard and the, the Scarecrow on the board, like, it's... Curtains for them, I think.
Uh, why do I not have... Oh, because they ashed. I don't have bike. Okay, I don't have bike, which makes this a little bit more awkward. I don't have bike. So I can't... These are the sort of scenarios that I need to learn myself as well. Because I haven't played the deck enough for that yet. Uh, I can't make Axel Stardust here. So, what? Get bike with equip? I mean... How do I get the bike? There's no shot, I just make like Stardust Dragon. <laughs> You can end on two negates. I mean, I'm sure I'm killing them either way. I'm killing them either way because I have Regulus in hand already. I don't even need to go full combo, but it's like... Bro, I'm making Stardust Dragon. Uh, I don't even know what I need. Yeah. I mean, it was game regardless. But going first, that would have been an interesting exercise. What you do if you don't have access to the bike there. Well, we're going to worry about it if it happens again. Earth Machine seems more fun than Super Heavy Samurai. Um... I mean, it depends. I, I find the I find the games where I just have the one card combo and my opponent surrenders or something like that. I also don't find these very enjoyable. But the ones where you actually have to think about it, like that Mikanko game, I actually thought was was enjoyable. Okay, here I think I'm I'm maxing immediately just because I mean, if they have Gamma or Ash, I have Gamma myself, so I'll just do it. Unless they have both, then we're fucked. But they have neither. Perfect. Maybe it's not not worth it to risk it there. Maybe you just wait. But I <laughs> God damn it, Big Bang K. Also, people are asking about Seca's light. Um Seca's light? Does not work in this deck because you have pendulum scales, which are considered spell and traps. How do I beat Baguska? Question mark. Answer. Kaiju. <laughs> it is that easy. Uh, I mean, I have everything already. It legit does not matter what I search here. I'm convinced. Okay, not even... I'm not even getting rolled. Am I getting ogred? Nope. Bro, you're not even trying. Hmm. 
Valor? They might have Valor. No matter what it was, I don't think it's enough. That was a skill differential. I don't know what we would have done without the Kaiju. We would probably just make our own Baguska and pass back and forth on a game of chicken. The super heavy synchro outset. Oh, right. That's what I play Serotobi for. Right? Because it can attack in defense. Yeah. Uh, okay. When we have all these starters, no out to maxi. I believe it's best to start with the wagon because that's easy hand trap bait. Yep. That's right. Easy hand trap bait. And then scale the Kaoshi. Yep. <laughs> what a fun game. Yeah. I really wonder how long they want to keep this deck in the game for. I really wonder how long they're going to keep this game this deck in the game. Oh, we've bricked. We have com completely bricked even. Hold up. No, wait. No, it's not. This is It's some combo, right? Because I normal yeah. 60 cards, by the way. <laughs> it's a it's a combo. I haven't learned this combo, I but I know it exists. So we're just going to try and freestyle it. I know it's a thing. Uh, because you go Scarecrow. And then you revive, because even a weak combo with Maxi Ghost Ogre should be okay. But I mean, they're playing 60 cards, so obviously they drew like multiple hand traps, I think. That's probably a bis deal, though, because we discarded Driver. So we, we equip this, right? We equip this here. And then we use it. Which gives us the bow. And the bow makes another link one, so we get the Kaoshi. But then what? Bike for bow? You can't know. Yeah, I can't normal, but like, what's the. You get bike? Yeah, but and what does the bike get me? Vakaoshi. Yeah, and then Vakaoshi, Big Bang K, Vakaoshi. I mean, yeah, I summon this. Second Scarecrow. This. Bike. Bike. The cow she.
and this gets me the level four. So it's just barren. Is it just barren pass with this? I think so. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's better than just passing, I suppose. It's scale set up for next turn. And I mean, it's gonna... That's the thing. That's the one thing you have to understand. If your hand doesn't have a one card starter, most likely it's gonna have a lot of hand traps, like in this case, right? I mean, okay, two of our five cards in hand were not actually... Well, no, two of them... We had three hand traps. Three hand traps, driver, and uh, the freaking... Uh, this one. Wagon was the same, but with follow-up? No, wagon was the same. Period. It didn't give you any more. Because if you go wagon, you have to equip the thing from hand anyways. Weakest hand makes Baron pass. I mean, this is not the weakest hand. This is probably just the weakest card you would consider a one-card combo in this deck. Because it is a one-card combo. I mean, this is certainly something from one card. It is branded. Oh, God. Branded lost, man. I can't brand... I can't Baron your branded fusion now. Uh, do I Baron that... Do I bear in that? I guess I do. I should have maxied in draw phase to check for called by. But I think I do bear in it. I should have shotgunned maxi, because now if they have called by, I don't have Baron for it anymore. But if I chain maxi now, I still let the branded lost resolve, which I don't want. Even if my maxi resolves, branded lost is big trouble. Can't you ogre it? You cannot ogre it, no. You can only ogre cards that are already face up on the field, which at the time when you activate a continuous from your hand, you can't ogre it. You also can't ogre some like Pearl or Rhino. They have an out to maxi as well. We just get fucked. I mean, they play 60 cards. They open Alubur, Lost, Maxi, and an out to... Yeah, okay, they don't. Okay. But yeah, we were going to lose to an out there, but we'll see. It's still not great for us, honestly, because they don't need like a whole lot to... Uh to take control of the game here. Like, two special summons clears the board pretty much. I don't like Super Heavy Samurai. Most people don't. You're not, the, you're not alone. Oh, God damn it, Big Benke! That guy is haunting me, man. Uh, I'm not ogring this, do I? No, there's no way. I don't ogre here simply because I don't mind if they give the if they bring back Lubelion for an extra special summon for me. Like I'll take it. Because what I can do is I can simply ogre whatever they get off of the the Lubelion. Like if they get branded beast and try to pop something with branded beast, I can ghost ogre that. What is this? Okay, this goes back to the hand. All right. Ah. Do I ogre mirror jade? Probably not. Maybe. I mean, the problem is, if I ogre it... He can't clear? What do you mean he can't clear? Mirror Jade is gonna resolve Banish Baron, and then they're gonna attack the Scarecrow. My board is gone. Okay, 
but I don't want them to be able to make another one is the thing, right? I don't want them to be able to just go end phase, special Albaz, make another Mirror Jade. Because even I, even though I draw cards, uh, I, I don't want to deal with another Mirror Jade next turn. I've drawn one entire monster worth pendulum summoning, by the way. That's also not pendulum summonable. And this is where I think the ghost ogre is going to come in handy. Because, I, I mean, branded lost is gone. Surely it's branded beast or branded regained. Either way. Branded beast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just ghost ogre that shit. And that's better than Ghost Ogring the Mirror Jade, I think. It's still, like I said, it's still very scary because they still get to Albion set. Like, they still have a lot here. They still have a lot. Search Albaz. <laughs> Droll you now in your end phase. Okay. Well, there is currently no target for Branded in Red, which is good. There. Wait, am I missing something? Why did they get for. They didn't activate Beast either to, like, bring back Branded Lost. I'm confused. Okay, well. Um. I mean, they might already have Banishment face down. That's why. That's the only thing I can imagine. Go, Wagon. Maybe playing around Ogre? I mean, yeah, playing around Ogre, sure, but I'm still going to be able to do it. Like, my Ogre still checks the Branded Beast, no matter what. It's not like I'm going to use the Ogre on something else. No, it's just going to stay here until they use it. So, like, we're kind of in a checkmate scenario. And until they force me to use it, I even have the option of using it on something else. See? Unless this is called by the grave, which I don't think it is because my maxi resolved. Yeah. Uh, let's add a super heavy samurai soul. Bonfire is a confirmed collector's rare in maze. Thank God the price of the ultra will go down. I don't know if it means that. I don't know if it necessarily means that, but sure. Okay. Um... Oh, I don't have another link one. Okay, that's a that's a problem. I didn't realize that. Uh, I, oh, this combo uses both link ones on the first turn. That's a problem. Okay, so it's not that bad because it's. I'm just gonna link it off and get the search anyways. Like I special summoned this. No. Let's do this. Scales, scales. Stealthy into Cleaford. I do want to make the Cleaford, but I also I want to make um, the gear box first, the ancient gear ballista, because I want to get the recycling going. Because like against branded, I don't know if I can guarantee a kill here. Um. Meaning, I'm, I, I kind of want the recycling. So, 
So we're going to go Ballista here. And then we're going to summon the Stealthy into Cleaver Genius. And then we're going to Pendulum Summon as if our life depended on it. Timeout incoming. Uh, it's a complicated turn, but I think I'm good here. I need to concentrate, though, for sure. We'll hit him with a fat pendulum summon. One, two, three, four... Five, whatever. Beep. Beep. Uh, I think it's time for Savage. Actually, yeah. Lip Strike. Oh! They can discard Albaz and now they have a target for Brandon Red. Okay, that's nasty. Do they just fuse these two? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know what I need here. Okay. Genius negate? I could have used genius on Dragos Tapelia, but I don't think it matters that much. But I should have, probably. But they're gonna f I think they're gonna fuse with it anyways. But it depends on the last card in their hand, because if they just make a branded uh, uh, Guardian Chimera here, as of now, they can't chain block it, so my Regulus can just negate it. Like, it, they need something in hand that can chain block the Guardian Chimera. Because my Regulus is going to be here. Okay. Oh, the last card. You're right. The last card is the trap. Yeah. Yeah, so I just negate the Lubelion. And they can't Dragos Tapelia this because Regulus is gone, so... Um, bro, we get so many searches, it's so nasty. Hmm. 
What do I do? Do I just Zeus them? Do you like playing this deck? Uh, it's like I'm 50-50 on it. There are some games that are incredibly uninteractive and then there's some games that are okay. Wait, why the Tunneler? Okay. Ideally, I don't want to Zeus them here, uh, and there's a good chance that I won't have to. But then, worst case again, I don't think it matters that much if I do have to. Yeah. Alright. That game actually felt interesting. That game actually did feel fun. Can I see the deck list? I mean, I can show you the deck list, but it's a first draft. It's just the first draft. Hmm. Uh, I'll try it a bit more. But I think there are already some changes that I that I'm thinking about. I kind of like the the engine quote unquote that we're playing like i i like I, I think one scales is fine uh two of this is okay because it still makes at least some sort of combo right the extra deck is normally quite different i am aware there's a lot of options for it for the extra deck like for example i think we are missing some going second cards maybe like um axis code unicorn is possible to play uh i think Sprite Elf is also an incredibly good card to be able to link off a lot of stuff. Like, uh, like that, yeah. Zeus? I mean, Zeus has been coming up a lot, I feel like. But maybe it's just because we're lacking other options, but I think Zeus is good. Any plans to play Gold Pride? Mm, I have all the cards from the new set, because I certainly didn't pull any freaking Vakaushis. I was busy pulling a lot of Gold Prides. So, uh, yeah, at some point, for sure. Like Gold Pride Punk or something like that. Oh, God, please. Please. Bro, I drew Benkei and Driver. Give me a fucking break, man. Pretty 
Wait, they didn't activate circular to add. What is bro doing? Huh? Addition. What about diameter? We could... What? It's Ignister? So, do I just nib them on res here? Or is, do I have to wait? Can I wait more? I'm scared. Like, I don't want to give them the free search and all that. I think I just nib them here. After Dark Templar? I mean, I could wait for 20 minutes and nib them then. But I don't want to have... I don't, I don't want them to have the field spell and none of that. I'll just nib them here. And feel good about myself. How big is the token? 2k. An attack? More. Oh. Here. The hell is this? Uh oh. Oh, I think we get fucked. I've never seen anyone playing this card. I literally have never seen it before. If it comes up in Card Guesser, I'm not guessing it. Can't use the field spell with the nib token? That is true, but if they have the way if they have a way to make a link to with the nib token, which I'm not sure if they have one. Uh if they have a way to make a link to, we're cooked. Okay. What the hell is Hiyari? They also don't play that one. Hiyari is played sometimes. Okay. I remember, I just remember playing the deck one time. That was a while ago, though, when I tried it. We did that on stream, I think. It was a long time ago. It was like, um, it was before last, I, I think it was before 2022 nationals. Like it was, it was a long time ago. Like it was before power of the elements. I'm pretty sure. What do you think about runic next format? Uh, you mean like next TCG format after Phantom Nightmare? I think it's going to be like tier two, tier three, different, different, depending on the version. I don't think it's top tier. The end board will probably be three firewalls. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I, I'm not, I, it doesn't look like three firewalls to me, but... Don't maxi me back, please. I don't deserve it. I kind of do. I'm playing Super Heavy Samurai.
Oh, I didn't draw Max C. It's a weird triple firewall looking kind of weird today. Kiza Chan, thank you for the seven months. Also, Vince, thank you for the 13. Appreciate you guys. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mike Wazowski is so broken, man. True. Mike Wazowski is broken. Switch decks at some point. Yeah, no, we will. Oh, they they got lucky that that's our only play. But it works out for them here. We have to pass to that. Uh, we don't have a way. I don't think it's worth making the. Yeah, no, we just pass. We just pass. The thing is, if we switch decks, it's not going to be much better. We're going to switch to Manadium, <laughs> which is the same deck. Uh-oh. Where's your hand, bro? Well, Droll is not going to be good here. But Ash is. Oh, come on, man. Uh, actually, I'm not too worried about this because it actually makes my gamma alive. Like, it's not that bad. We're still losing, most likely. But, yeah. Are you losing? They have nothing left. No, they just use the furniture to set a uh, big wel uh, welcome. And on my turn, they can welcome, summon lovely, pop with this, have big welcome in the grave to bounce. Like they literally have three interruptions. They have everything if they do it right. If they just use the furniture here, the game is probably over. If they use the furniture to set the regular welcome labyrinth, it's uh, it's probably curtains. I don't even know what I can top deck. Like, I need to... The, the thing is, I need to draw, like, Ash Blossom. I need to draw Ash Blossom to stop that welcome, and then I need to hope they run out of engine, basically. Yeah. That's not going to do it, I don't think. Unless they mess up, I mean, yeah, they use it here, yeah, yeah, but they don't need to.
this lap player is bad, they legitimately have not made a single mistake yet. This one is a little questionable. They could have waited for me to activate the effect of the Scarecrow. Just as I was gassing them up. I'm like, they haven't made a mistake yet. They're like, watch me. Watch me. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Mm-mm. Wait, what? You're not popping a card in my hand? I'm confused. Are they planning on getting... They might be... Okay, I see what they... I think I, th I see what they try to do. I don't think I agree with it. But I think they're trying to search Ku Clock to... Then set Big Welcome... It's not necessary. Or oh, they drew a card. Okay. They drew a card? Now you have no interruption. Unless you top deck the hand trap, they have nothing now. Bro, I was gassing you up all the... Oh, man. I was defending you, and now... Um, okay, well... Uh, I have normal summoned. I have normal summoned, so this is not the standard line. I'm trying to think, maybe it's Soul Gaia. Special summon Soul Gaia, make the link one again, bring back... Yeah, that's probably the one. I mean, it just comes down to, do they have a, did they draw a hand trap? Did they draw interaction from the hand or not? Because if they did not, we simply play here uninterrupted. They don't have any. They had three interruptions and they turned it into one. I'll tell you what they should have done after the game, because I don't want to lose time here, because this could potentially be a long turn. This also wouldn't be possible if they just used the trap on the effect here because this is once per turn so and i haven't used it yet uh this here okay if we get this far yeah okay yeah no there, this is a disaster tragic even Tragedy has happened. Uh, I need this guy. Okay, and now the game is over. Because now they cannot possibly have a way to... Like, even if they top deck something, now it's gone. The possibility. Of winning at all. What do I even pop? Who 
pop the back row. Why was the Stardust necessary? Okay, so Axel Stardust has an effect where you can quick effect tribute it to summon a Stardust from the extra and then synchro. Uh, and whatever synchro monster you summon with that is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. So if you play the Stardust, you can make the Baron be unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Uh, which means you play around something like Nip plus Imperm. Also, if they... um. Like, let's say you have Axel and the bike on the board, and they activate Nib there to prevent the Baron from coming out. You can chain the Axel Stardust to make an unaffected Baron in response. That's not going to be attributed by, um, by your opponent's Nib, right? So it's basically... Uh, it makes your Axel Stardust play a lot stronger through Disruption. It is still... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if it's worth the extra deck slot, but it is, I think, valuable. Do they not nib after? Well, you can just Baron, you can negate the nib and they can't Valor your Baron because it's unaffected. Like, you just wait with the Baron negate for the nib and then there's no way they negate the Baron because it's unaffected, so. <laughs> nib after the Axel effect? Well, I mean, they can, but then you still get the Stardust. And you can still Pendulum Summon after and all that. And usually people will nib when they see a level 8 and a level 2. Right? That's normally when they would nib you. They wouldn't wait for and see if you play. Because if your opponent doesn't play the Axel Stardust, right? Like, put yourself into the position of your opponent, right? They are holding a Nibiru. The opponent goes Axel Stardust, brings back a level 2. That's a Baron right there. So you just nib them, right? And then if they chain the Axel, you get cooked. You don't wait to see, because if they don't play the Stardust, which is not super common, not everyone plays the Stardust, right? Uh, they just heart make Baron, and then your nib suddenly is vibing in, in your hand, right? And they have, you know, if you have Valor nib, they can hold, yes. If they have Valor and nib, they can hold. But then, even then, you activate Axel Stardust effect, and they chain nib there, right? Nib resolves, then Axel Stardust resolves, leaving you with... You still get the Stardust and you get the Nib token and you can keep playing because you still haven't like Pendulum Summoned and all that, right? Um, you compare that to the alternative, right? Like let's say you don't play the Stardust at all and your opponent has Nib Valor. Uh, they just wait 10 more minutes and then Valor Nib you when it really hurts, right? So in, even in that case, it's still better to go for that line with the Stardust Dragon. Uh, if we make it to Master, we'll play a different deck, which is potentially only two games away. We'll play a different deck if we make it to Master. But I will say that game was 100% a loss if they play it right. This is the worst hand I've seen in my life. This is all engine requirements, literally. Every single card in my hand is a card I want to search from my deck and not draw. Phenomenal. Never been done before. Oh god, okay. Three more games! Three more games! <laughs> the super heavy mirror is um something else I will say
Uh, <clears throat> all right. In Baguska, we trust. Where should the Baguska go? I think here. I don't like putting it in the EMZ, because next turn, if they don't clear it, I just go normal summon and make the thing. I mean, it's not only a Baguska answer, right? We also have Droll ourselves, so depending on what deck they play, you know. Strong. That's the best one to start against Droll and Lockburn, because you it requires the least amount of searches. It's still a lot of searches, but... You know, I'm considering not rolling here because if I roll here, they just Baguska pass as well. And then what? Like, we just stare each other with two Baguskas. I suppose it's too risky. I don't know. You have an out for Baguska? I think I do, yeah. I can out Baguska. But there's no way they don't just also make Baguska. Unless they don't play it, which is, I guess, a small chance. I think everyone plays Baguska, though. Yeah, genius. Yeah. So what would you do? You go normal summon soul piercer, make the scarecrow, add Vakaushi. Do I even want Vakaushi anymore? Because I can't use it with without the the uh, be without placing another dude. Normal soul piercer. They just make Baguska, surely. You know what's funny? You can't even turn your own Baguska under attack to attack position against your opponent's Baguska. <laughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> uh, interesting. I guess they didn't have any further. That actually, that, I'm actually mad about that. I am actually mad about that because I was interested in how that was gonna go. I, I actually I actually was curious how that was gonna go. I think we win it. Maybe they just know we have a line to out it, but like, you know, I, I would have still liked to figure it out, but Yeah, bro uh bro was the first one to flinch during the staring contest. Things to do, places to go. No. Yeah. <laughs> How hard do you think they should hit this deck? Uh, they should kill it. As fast as possible. I'm gonna be honest with you. There is some games that are interesting. Like, unironically, I... Wait, is this and if you do? Uh, and if you do, okay, do I ghost ogre this fella or do I wait? I mean, <laughs> I have ogre maxi and lockbird. Surely I'm okay. Uh, if I ogre this fella, I mean, I'm ogring the fella. 
Because ogre, the, the my reasoning here is ogre is my least powerful hand trap. And I want to use my least powerful hand trap first because there's a chance that this ends their turn. If it doesn't, I can, yeah, see, I can, I can keep my most powerful hand traps for the future turns now. Oh my god, I hate you. He's not that bad to draw, actually. I'll take it back. I don't hate you. Uh, over Chupi, thank you for the five months. Appreciate you. What future turns? I mean, I'm assuming they have hand traps, right? See? Like, they're not gonna die, I don't think. I don't- I'm not gonna kill them here. No shot. Like, I have Maxi and Droll on my own. I'm vibing for next turn. And I would be less safe had I left something on their board now and used Maxi, for example. Like, let's say they go for Vagon, add Soul Piercer, equip Soul Piercer, I Maxi, they pass, right? That exact scenario right now, I mean, I'm so scared. Because they uh, they have they have stuff on the board already. My hand is Droll and Ogre instead of Maxi and and Droll. Like it's it's uh yeah it's it's worse. Uh, this can attack in defense, right? Yeah, so it's more damage. I'm not gonna kill them. Smack. They ash this. Okay, well, my Maxi's in... My Maxi is, uh, vibing right now. Uh... I just need a Super Heavy Samurai. Add a Super Heavy Samurai Soul. Yeah, that's worth it. Not sure why we ash that, honestly, when we already resolved the Maxi, but... Okay. Follow up from this. Bro, droll me? Okay. It was worth a try. All right. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting behavior from the opponent. Uh, what do I go for first? I add, uh, I mean, let's do this. They have more hand traps, surely. Yup, yeah, okay, bro. I mean, we can do this for a while, I don't mind. I'm searching all my, my, my dudes. The entire squad is here. Soul Piercer. <laughs> I'm gonna defeat you without my extra deck. Go. Next turn, you're gonna die to the wagon, dude. <laughs> okay, who kills him? Who who kills him? Maxi? Oh, everyone can do it. Scales? Wagon. Nah, this is zero. This. Toxic streamer. Toxic streamer. <laughs> what if he imperms the wagon? <laughs> then he would have a whole lot of other problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> okay, one more and we play a different deck. One more and we play a different deck. All right. Once again, since I haven't been streaming for a couple days, you know, if uh, if your primes ran out, I'd be more than happy if you guys renewed your primes, came back to the channel. We've been dropping a bunch of subs during the last couple days, but we are back now. We are building those numbers back up. So if you're enjoying the content, uh, just make sure you check if you... Oh my god, what the hell is that? That's what I get for begging, dude. Holy shit, okay. God damn, we're not ranking up. We are not ranking up. In the meantime, Azure Whale, thank you for the Prime. TJ Palooza, thank you for the Prime. Z Submit, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Oh, our opponent also has bricked, apparently. Well. <laughs> I'm scaling this. Maybe they max see me. No? Okay. What is it, lab? Might be lab. Didn't get max seed yet. That's good. Called by on soul pierce or solos? That is true. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, man. Why did you have to say that? Uh. No one forced you to say that. God damn it, man. Bro, I drew the freaking gearbox, too. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, that's fucked up man do I even use this I kind of want them I mean imagine they ash the soul pierce maker and I get to gamma it that's a win con. Come on, man. Uh, no effect here. And now what? I'm guessing. I mean, I like. I'm. 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 I'm thinking. I like uh, a rank four play Sargas. You know. Yeah. Not the worst. Because they either let me get Regulus. Like I'm. I'm assuming that's like an imperm, right? They let. They can let me get. Um. What the hell is this thing? Of Oh, sc I scale. I can scale it. I see. Uh, Merrymaker. Because if they imperm the Sargas, I get a format Zeus. Which isn't too bad. And if they don't imperm it, I get a, I get a Regulus beforehand, so it's even better. They're kind of forced to imperm the Sargas. Play the brick for Benke. There is no way I'm doing that. No way in in hell. Oh come on, man! Ah. Uh...
No, don't draw out of your brick, dude. That's not fair. Which one is it? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what? Why are you even summoning that? <laughs> huh? Or is it Minadium? No, it's not. What? <laughs> what did... What was bro thinking? Oh my god, there's no way! <laughs> oh no, man. Oh, uh, it's such a bad hand, dude. There's no way I've drawn every single brick. Summon box? Summon box? Then what? Attack the scare claw so it comes back stronger? No. Bro. There's no shot. There's no shot. I'm dead. It's game, dude. It's fucking game. 6,000. Bring back. Oh, God. No way, man. box attack would have made sure you didn't die i guess <laughs> I, I yeah you're right but it also would have disabled my gamma which i feel like was a more important part of the entire situation than that but yeah i did not play around that i did not play around that dude i just want to hit master and stop playing this deck <laughs> luke tyler thank you for the raid Appreciate that. Also, Koyumi Desu, thank you for the four months. And Feritas, thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate the support, everybody. Okay, can I draw no Benkei, no driver? Just like once. No box, no ton. There's a lot of cards I don't want to draw in this deck. That. I mean, I asked. I, that is. I, I got what I asked for. Fuck. I drew none of the cards I just mentioned. I'm still passing. I, I can't complain about it because it's literally what I asked for. I asked for it. God damn, it's a brandy. A branded Andy. Do I Gamma Partesia? Probably not. I gamma aluber question mark no i just gamma branded fusion surely but what if they have called by on my ash i think i i think i do this because if i let it go through and they have called by i just lose the game they're playing 40 cards so there's a they can chain cartesia i don't mind it that much as long as they don't get branded fusion i'm okay I meant Gamma the Alibur, so they don't have Branded Fusion. I don't know what I said. I misspoke, probably. Are you planning on looking at Manadium later? I already have a list ready for Manadium. I'm just waiting because I said I wanted to play this until Masters, which is like two more wins. Uh, and then we're going to whip out the Manadium. But if we... I think I can, we can just play Manadium after this game, honestly. Because I'm, I'm noticing we're running out of time. But we have more time during the week. I plan on doing more Master Duel streams this week because of the new stuff. And also... Um... Also, the I, I want to play some Dragon Rulers. The thing about Dragon Rulers, I sat down and tried to cook some Dragon Rulers earlier uh, and yesterday, and I simply 
I couldn't really find something where I felt like, okay, that's that's gonna be good. So I think I'm gonna make a stream where I go. I'm gonna let you guys submit some Dragon Ruler cooking ideas, and I might try them out. Some like that, something along those lines is what I want to do. Like we'll spend one day to to experiment with different Dragon Ruler brews. If I have the cards, because I don't have the cards yet, I have to check how much I'm missing. Oh, win condition spotted in the top right. Okay, they go with a brain dead opening. That's fine. But they can't get Aluber. I guess they get Quem. Discard Nibiru. I guess Quem does foolish branded fusion. Yeah. That is something it does. Please. Go what is this hand, bro? Calm down. Fusion deployment. Aluber. Uh, opening. Nadir servant. Nibiru. Plus one. The hell? And I completely bricked, by the way. How is this all in your 40 card deck, by the way? Like, how do you fit Nadir Servant with targets and shit? I mean, I guess you just search Albas with it, because you already have Quem. Bro, well, now they can revive with the Quem too. The Cartesia, it's fucked. It's turbo fucked. This is everything. Like on my turn, they can now go Cartesia with the Alba. Like they don't even need branded fusion if they draw like this. You legit don't need branded. What the you can summon? Okay, well, yeah, I guess you're not attacking anyways. Branded is just consistent for some weird reason. Well, the reason is that it doesn't play non-engine. So it, it, it like... Yeah. Brightest blazing branded king. Yeah, that's what you are. The brightest blazing branded king. Okay, well... <sighs> what the hell does that card do? I'm still fucked because the Quem brings it back. Special summon this card. So the branded king is dead, right? The branded in red is also dead right now. No Aluber is there. Ah, oh, fuck.
Yeah, we lose. Because I was thinking we could go Peacemaker, summon Vagon from the deck, Vagon attack over Quem, because in defense we could, but then they can still brand it in red and we get cooked. There's like a small chance. Like if they go red now to make Drago Stapelia. But now we lose. This is... <sighs> well, I mean, you're not going to win with that freaking hand. Okay, I have enough of bricking. Oh, we need to fix the extra deck still. But let's um let's do a before we hop into Menadium. Before we hop into Menadium, let's do like a little closing word on Super Heavy Samurai for today. It's probably not gonna be the last time we've played this deck on stream, even though I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't enjoy the games with it that much. Some games I do enjoy. Uh quite frankly, like when I think when when you get hand trapped with with the deck, I actually think it's fun to play. Uh it's just when you either you don't get hand trapped or you're you're playing a mirror match or anything like that i think it can be inc incredibly toxic overall though uh, like the deck the deck is strong in master duel uh it doesn't feel that strong though like i think people blow it out of proportion a little bit because of how scared scared people are of playing against this deck and it is toxic af don't don't when i say it's not that it's not as good as people think it's definitely as toxic as people think that's for sure um but i i, I think um i'm not gonna tell you not to worry about it because i'm absolutely worried about playing against this deck and i think it's fair to be worried about playing against this deck no matter what version right um but in terms of power level I don't think it's that good in a best of one setting. Like, if I get max seed and I don't have my Ash, I just probably lose that game. If I get drolled, I literally pass on Baguska every time. Uh, so on and so forth. So it's like, yes, you need to draw an answer to this deck. Otherwise, it's going to completely fuck you up, right? But if you do draw an answer to it, it doesn't feel that good is kind of like the verdict which means that yes you're gonna have to respect it in deck building or it is gonna punish you but if you do respect it in deck building i think you should be okay most of the time just make sure you like hold your maxi until they have a monster on board so you can't get gamma i think is important the same with droll like if they start with the bike and add a monster don't immediately droll them because if they have gamma you're gonna cry Right, and if they, I mean, honestly, no matter when Droll or Maxi resolve, like even if they resolve one or two searches in, you're probably still fine. You know, like the, the deck's gonna search like ten times. You, you're still gonna get value out of your Droll. But yeah, I I don't think it's the best deck in Master Duel right now because it just is relatively one dimensional. It plays a lot of hand traps, which is good for some matchups. Uh, but it also loses very hard to certain hand traps that people certainly are playing. I mean, we got we got Drolled and, and Maxi a ton today. I mean, Maxi isn't really a, a freaking surprise, but Droll is very popular as well. So that's worth mentioning. Well, yeah. The deck is good, though. It's, it's a good deck. Uh, even though it's toxic, it's good, but it's not that good. All right. Moving on to a different new deck. Uh, Menadium. This is a list I threw together this morning based off of recent tcg successful lists and we're gonna have to freestyle with it a little bit um the most notable difference to the tcg is that you don't have crimson dragon yet and i honestly i only really know the lines with crimson dragon so i'm gonna have to see what's what's happening with that but we'll see um in the main deck, you're only missing Visa Samsara. So that, should, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, it's a little bit of a consistency decline. That's why I added all the field spells to search Visa Starfrost. And the, the like, you know, you, it should still be okay, I think. 
Um, we have to cut one card from the extra deck, though, though with, which I wasn't sure what we don't need. Uh, this patter... Can we even make this patter anymore? Let me, just, let me think. We can still make it with Axel Stardust, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Elf, I'm not sure how good Elf is. But I, I mean, I'm guessing it's good. Um, I'm Unicorn and Axis Code are kind of debatable, but I thought like having them together would make sense for OTK plays. Maybe you don't need it though. Let's try without Axis Code. Other than that, I I don't I, I this is not gonna be like a how to play Manadium guide or anything like that because I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never played Manadium in the TCG, so I'm kind of just I'm, we're just gonna be freestyling. We're just freestyling a little bit. Play two bestials? Uh you could. I'm just worried that they don't do as much against um against super heavy. So yeah, I don't know. The list also only has one roll, which I added for the cross out. I added the roll as a target. I could see myself playing three drolls if we run into... I mean, there's been a lot of super heavies, so maybe you want to go three drolls, no talents or something like that. Right, let's, let's try that. I'm scared. Let's do this. That seems better. No reframing? Um, no. I, I think it goes along the lines of what I said about the super heavy samurai deck, where... If you combo with this deck, I don't think you need the reframing to be able to win the game because Dark Ruler doesn't seem that popular. So I think your board is just going to be strong enough most of the time. I know it's searchable. I, I understand that. I, I am aware that you can search the card, but the, the question is still whether you need it. You don't need three visas? Uh, potentially. Like I said, I haven't played the deck before. Let me, let me mess around with it. I mean, this hand is pretty fire, going first or second. And if they have an out, if they have their ash, they don't have their ash. Okay, chill. Oh. What? Is this the FTK? Hold up. Uh, do I ash the first one? Is there is there something really important? I don't actually know which FTK they're running right now. Do I, I? I probably ash something more important then. I mean, this is obviously this would be one way to um. This would be one way to combat Maxi with Super Heavy. Just go for the FTK. I don't know if I... Okay, they don't. <laughs> they just gave me more cards for no reason. I see. Okay. So in this circumstance, I can just normal summon... I mean, I have everything, right? I just go normal summon Rykard. Then I can special Meek. And then I can special summon Rhymeheart. We'll probably have activated Calarium beforehand. I doubt it matters, though. It, it would have given me another Meek. I'm just saying right now... Uh, I... Uh, add a Manadium spell and trap.
Can I play around Nib? I mean, I could make Axel now, but I kind of want to do this. If you didn't change level, you could have. Yeah, I'm not an expert on this deck, but it's fine. I don't, I'm not too worried about this specific game. They, they, it's not unlikely. It's not unlikely that they have Nip, but I think we're going to be just okay here. Because we also have a... We have a called by for their next turn, which is crazy too. Yeah. We could have played this better, but it's fine. Uh, what do we have here? What does this do? Special summon a Visas or a monster from your hand. Uh, arrival, bring back Rykard, make Bobblehead get Field Spell. Yeah, I mean... Oh, Bell. Do I called by the bell? It might. No. Is cross sheep affect monsters? No. Okay, so the nip token can make cross sheep. That's good. Uh, draw two, place a card. Yeah, I mean, I can just do this. Put Nash back. Special here. In defense. Weezus pop, bobblehead. Uh, do I have to destroy? And if you do, okay, no. Bring the baby back? Wait, wait, which baby? Oh, wait, no! Nah! I need to control pieces for this, right? Yeah, okay, right, right, right. I almost forgot the Funko Pop. Okay, this... Baron... And then we make... Uh, what's it called? Cross Sheep, right? Cross Sheep... Wait, why can't I make? Oh, I can. I just have to. I, I I was looking for the graveyard activation spot for some reason. You can relink right heart, right? Oh, I keep forgetting that that shit's not once per turn to search the field spell. You're right. I forgot about that. What does this do? Target another monster on the field, destroy it. Oh, I should have used this on the Niblin. Well. Okay, so besides relinking 
besides relinking the the bobblehead to search another field spell this was fun i mean i should have the the beginning was was i could have made the baron fat earlier i could have threatened the nib earlier that was what i needed to do other than that i think it was fine it was it was basically uh it's a matter of when i pick up these sort of decks one issue that i have at the very beginning is when i draw the hands that have too many options right it's like it's 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 easier when you start with like a one card combo or something like that because then your options are like limited uh rather than when you you just draw a hand where it's like you know the field spell you know like like one a hand like this one right because it's much different than the theory where you just draw like ah you're just opening one uh starter and here's the line for it in the spreadsheet right do i draw this even dude it's i mean i guess I guess I'd roll it. <laughs> good. good roll. Good roll. Good talk. Good talk. Glad glad that we... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so what's going on here? All face-up monsters on the field become... Ah, yes. All right, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, 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 sick. Uh... Uh, I would have to have. <laughs> what do I do, man? Set right card clears. How? It's minus 500 defense. Oh, but because of right phobia, this loses 100. So it's at 16 and I'm also at 16. Okay. Cooking. Uh, does it matter which one I set? Not really. Bro, please, what? Okay. So... <laughs> vibes uh we just need to set three monsters and then we can start popping with uh with this right <laughs> yes and they're gonna get even stronger the more i set no you have got to be kidding me there's no way dude you just oh god i play two though Bro, they said another monster. It's Inspector Border. No, man. Tribute summon visas? No, but it's too small. It's a tuner, though. It's the same size as Pachi. It's so dumb, man. Fuck. Uh, if they have solemn, <laughs> they have solemn, man. Yeah, I lose. Bro, why did I lose the coin flip to this shit? Out of all the things, man. This thing is limited now. Uh. Bro, the, fe the feather. I can't believe I lost to the feather duster.
Nah, you need to be locked up, man. You need to be taken away from society. Okay. I'm not sure if Pearl or Rhino is good, by the way, because it only searches Visas. And it kind of plays into the role even more. I'm not convinced by it. But it might bait something like... It might bait something like... Ash. And if I get trolled, I, I'm, I'm, you're fucked anyways, right? Oh, I thought that was Droll for a second, but it wasn't. I have Ash, bro. They're, they're about to get some bad news. Oh. Bro, why did you do that? Fuck off, man. That was crazy. That was fucked up. That was actually unethical. All right. Um, there's no shot I'd do anything. Yeah. Bro, why did you coo clock? Do you have furniture? Lady. <laughs> you don't even have furniture. Why did you do that? Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, not another one. <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> Bro, I've never had such an up and down kind of game in a long time, man. What the hell was that? <laughs> they think about it. They use the Ku Clock just for emotional damage. They used the Ku Clock, and I was out here that- Oh, God, thank God. I thought that was Droll and Lockbird. And then they chained the Droll for emotional damage number two. And then they still lose the game because they discarded the Ku Clock for no freaking reason. And I had Ash. No way, man. I don't know if it's that smart to play Manadium when everyone and their mom is on Droll right now. But I guess. Oh god, thank god we didn't go first. This hand does nothing, right? Yeah. Oh. The Sword Soul technology? Why is it that Sword Soul, when I have Droll, never opens with Emergence? Why is it never emergence? It's always Moji directly. It's actually fucked up. Like genuinely, I don't even know if I'm discarding Droll here. Like what's the fucking point? There is no point. To stop desires? I'm not uh, willing to take that gamble. I'd rather put it back to the deck with this thing that draws two and puts one card back, right? I I'll put back the droll. They can search Protoss? Well, they didn't search Emergence, so... If they had searched Emergence, I would have, but they didn't. Yep. Why couldn't I have the hand that I drew against fucking stun here? Yeah. 
you had plays if you normal throw there uh you do realize my opponent is part of the game right there's a there was a baron and a she shall i just want to bring your attention to that like i realize that for some of you guys the screen ends up right above the five cards in your hand but there was like no way i was winning that game Um, thing is, it's probably Labyrinth. Yeah. It's still, I'm not confident leaving this through. Even if it is bait though, like I'm not, I'm not so happy that I left it through actually. I think I changed my mind. I, I, sh I probably should have ashed it because freaking, I mean, my hand isn't great here. Um... But, like, even if I have Ash for a Welcome Labyrinth trap, if they just go, like, search Ecclesia, get Punishment, Punishment is hard to play through, man. How do you know it's Lab? I mean, I don't know it's Lab, but they're playing Lab Sleeves, and Nadir Servant is relatively popular in Lab. It could also be Stun, but... It could be branded. I mean, it could be branded, but in that case, I think I'm fine either way because they start with Nadir Servant, not a good branded hand then. I think it's Lab. Well, we'll have to see. Okay, Calarium. I wonder which one you start with. I think Rykphobia. I think I start with Rykphobia. You can get Phobia and Rykard pop? Well, I mean, I... The hell is this, man? I can't, I just can't beat that. I legitimately, I just cannot beat this opener. Back to super heavy. This is not a deck issue, brother. This is quite, this is not a deck issue. This is just a floodgate issue. These last couple games, like... Um, Super Heavy Samurai does not beat that. What makes you think? Uh, what makes you think Super Heavy Samurai beats that freaking opener? Like I would have lost. It's just, you know, it's just combo decks being way too one-dimensional. 
But if I'm playing Super Heavy Samurai and they open Max Seed, Roll, Nadir Servant, Dogmatica Punishment, Power Sink Stone, like, I lose to that either way. Like, it doesn't matter. It just feels like um, I'm trying these new decks, but I genuinely don't think they're very good right now when everyone is playing Droll and shit like that. Like, I, it doesn't feel like the decks are actually doing work. Uh, what's the best search to start with here? Valerium? Fenrir? I actually think I forgot Fenrir. Am I playing Fenrir? Did I really forget Fenrir? I am playing it? Okay, okay, okay. Well, we won't find out, but I... I thought I put it in, but I, then for some reason I didn't think about it right now. I thought like, oh damn, I only have one target for this, but I think you're right. I think I put Fenrir. I play Fenrir. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not too mad about this. This this Ash Bait is okay. Um, so here you add Meek. Question mark. Meek. Meek. Visas. Oh, okay. Well. Maybe Vsauce is better, but uh, we'll have to see. So I normal summon this, right? Then I can special this. Then I can special this. Yeah. They have something. But you are right, not having visas at all here is a little weird. I mean, I haven't, I haven't made a special summon that starts a chain yet, so they could have just been keeping the maxi. Yeah. <sighs> Will I play Baguska? No. I mean, we are not very lucky right now. In general, these last couple games, we've been getting owned. I thought Yu-Gi-Oh was a game of skill. Well, I mean, we're not playing the most skillful decks right now, is the thing. We're playing combo decks. What's the best non-combo right now? I'd have to try. I'm not sure. I can't give you a decisive answer on that.
branded or lab. I mean, it would have to be something that's like that doesn't care about Droll at all. Because Droll is everywhere. They are going in. Which is fine with me. I am playing Nib too, but just a one of. A Droll at some... I could also draw a Droll at some point, maybe. If my deck is not freaking uh, messing with me. We could still die here, is the scary thing. Okay, there's Droll. Do I draw them right now? Have I drawn enough cards? I think so. What are you holding Ash for? For the Soul Pierce Maker. Soul Peacemaker, that one. Is what I'm trying to Ash right now. Because so far, I could have only Ashed this in the graveyard once, which if they have any extender doesn't do anything. And I could have Ashed this right now, which also if they have extenders in hand, it doesn't do anything. I like, I like Ashing in a spot where like Soul Peacemaker is an actual once per turn effect, right? They sold Peacemaker after Baron? Well, yeah, I was assuming I was going to draw more hand traps. I didn't know I was going to draw the Droll and then it was going to be gone. But I, I could still very well die here. I'm not sure if Drolling there already was correct because I didn't pick my pick up my nib yet. But we'll see. Oh, they make an unaffected Baron. Okay. I guess I still try to Ash. They might be scared of Nibiru. If they use their Baron Negate. We'll see. It depends a little bit on how many things they can Pendulum Summon. They do risk getting nibbed. Okay. I don't have it. I mean, they can just make, uh, I guess they can make a Savage if they want to. Oh god, they hard drew Regulus. It's so disgusting. Roll was a bad move? I don't think it was. Because without the Therion in hand, I actually think we're very fine here. Because they end on one negate max. Baron has already been used. Like, without the without the Regulus in hand, I think we're probably completely okay. Baron, yeah, Baron has been used. There's not... there The chance that we would have died... I mean, I, I still don't think we die, actually. Uh, we might. Serutobi is lethal. Uh, how big is Serutobi? The level 8 synchro you're talking about, right? Oh, it burns. Okay. Yeah, we might die because of the hard draw regulus, but... The reason why I drolled um, over 
like the thing is my max c is there's one thing you have to realize my max c most likely doesn't draw me shit like most likely my max c like there's one nibiru in my deck one no other hand traps that i can draw into so the later i draw them the more resources they have and the chance that i draw something relevant is very small Uh, this is game. Yeah, we lose. Oh. I mean, I, I don't think we need to overanalyze it. That's just combo mirrors for you. I don't think there was anything terribly wrong with what I did. I think it's just like, you know, you you combo mirrors are not that deep most of the time. Maybe Master Duel just isn't a fun format right now. I I mean, it depends. I think I could have more fun if I was playing different decks that aren't combo decks, right? But uh yeah, you're not you're not you're not entirely wrong, I don't think. This entire like throwing droll and maxi at each other until someone dies is not the most healthy environment, I don't think. Which is why they got rid of Super Heavy Samurai in the TCG immediately, right? That deck didn't live for a, mo for a month, I don't think. Like, they killed that deck like two weeks after it released. Which was the best decision. That was the best thing they could have done, honestly. Uh, metrics thank you for the prime appreciate that thank you so much thank you everyone for coming back with the subs after we've uh, dropped a bunch after the, uh, not being live for the last couple days welcome back appreciate you thank you why are you playing this deck well i'm uh, i'm exploring how good they are because even if i don't like a deck uh sometimes i need to check out how good it is you know because as a competitive player there's one thing you need to realize is that sometimes you play decks that you actually don't like that much. Sometimes you're not playing your favorite deck in the format because it's not the best, right? What are these hands? I don't know. I, I don't I don't feel like Manadium has been doing so well for me. I don't like the deck that much, but yeah. Can we please play the Dragon Link technology for the last games today? We surely also got some subs for that. Uh, I am down to play some non-combo deck games for the last hour or so. Well, it's not even an hour anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of tired of coin flipping. Moth Mia, thank you for the kind words. Appreciate that. Thank you for the three months. Did they search Super Factorial? They did. Dragon Link isn't a combo deck. Well, Dragon Link is. But I think it's between combo and mid-range. I don't think it's as combo heavy. Especially without... Um, the baby dragons, like the current versions of the deck, I don't think they are. I meant dragon rulers. Oh, you meant dragon rulers. Okay, so for dragon rulers, I've talked about it. I've talked about dragon rulers already. I want to. I want to play dragon rulers. Wait, what are they doing? Now I... Is... uh. I have to nib here. I can't let them make Lablation. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's funny. I didn't know it did that. It just goes back to hand. I guess that was a good way to bait Nib then. Because it's... It was just free. Well, I still have to do it. Oh god, sign and mining. Uh, regarding dragon rulers. I want to I wanna test some dragon ruler stuff. But I didn't want to spend too much time on stream trying to cook some weird stuff. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a stream where I let you guys submit weird dragon ruler brews and I try them out. If I have the cards for it. I think that's something I want to I wanna try, maybe. We'll see. I don't know why I'm still here, by the way. There's like no shot we're beating Super Factorial, but... No, that's the fun part. I mean, some amount of cooking, yes. Some amount of cooking, yes. But uh, not like... I mean, I'm leaving. Do you have the dragon rulers and babies already? I don't. I have some I have some gems left. Uh, CP left, rather. Crafting points. But the, uh, the babies are not ultras. The babies are supers. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not enjoying Manadium. I'm enjoying Manadium even less than Super Heavy Samurai. Like, uh, in terms of just, like, I, I think this deck's just not very good. It's, 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 a, it's a similar opinion that I have about the deck in the TCG. I don't think it's very good in the TCG either. It's a scary deck to play against, but I'm just not a fan of combo decks. I, I just, I'm just not a fan of combo decks. I don't think it's a very good concept. I'm, I just keep bricking or I keep getting hand trapped. I just don't find it very enjoyable either. I don't know. Gold pride time. Uh, we only have about like 30, 45 minutes left on stream. So I don't think I want to spend the time building a gold pride deck right now. Uh, I don't know. What do we play for a change? Uh, whatever we do play, we need to put in some hand traps for these super heavy samurai decks. Vanquish Soul. Vanquish Soul. Uh, we cut the bestials. They don't seem that good. We cut Bell. We played Roll. That could work. I keep bricking like crazy with Vanquish Soul, but I could play Shifter in it too. We could play Shifter. Let's be let's be that let's be that guy. Uh what do I take out? Bro. Mm. Play one bell. There's no way we don't draw rays in here. The universe smiles upon us. I can feel it. I lied. Still okay. I mean, yeah, it's not the worst hand that we could have drawn. I, I'll give you that. It's I wouldn't call it a good hand, but we'll see. But we played around, um, we played around Nibiru. If you look at it that way, it's not as bad.
we did, yeah. Doesn't Vanquish Soul just crumble under Droll? Uh, I guess that's fair, yeah. What I said earlier about, like, viable mid-range options, um, Vanquish Soul is not very good against Droll and Lockbird. That is true. Okay, it's not Super Heavy Samurai, though, because they activated Imperm. I mean, I hope, <laughs> I hope it's Super Heavy Samurai, but most likely not. Okay, main phase imperm on rock is 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 interesting. Talents bait? I mean, sure, maybe. If it's not a talents bait, it's really really bad. Cash Tira Ogre. Okay. I'm not gonna add that. What is going on? Cash Tira Zoo? I see. I guess I'll ash this, hoping they don't have a Zodiac then. It's a trap card plus two other cards. Bro, there's no raisin in fucking sight anywhere. It's not even close to a raisin, chat. We are not even close to a raisin. They've revealed the oh, the top five. The no none nothing in there. Oh god damn it, man. This is Oh god man. How is how can it be so fucking painful, man? <sighs> How do you draw Imperm, Imperm Ash, Cash Tira, Tanky, Zodiac? Why are we not using Fenrir effect? Why are we not looking at this circle that indicates that Fenrir has been negated? Wait, but now you can't make Zeus. Ah! You just lose the game for no reason. What is the trap that they have? Prep. What the hell? Ooh, I've drawn a I've drawn a dark for Valius. You just lost the game for no reason at all. What? Insane. 
Absolutely insane. Oh, there's a Rhoda. That's a way to search Raisin. Get rid of it. No? Okay. That was the craziest way to lose a game I have ever witnessed. That was so easy as well. What was Zeus going to do versus Valius, though? I mean, it was going to have, like, seven materials or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> they can just uh, chain chain, you know? Like, activate it. I chain Valius to make it unaffected. They chain Zeus again. It's gone. Why, <laughs> why my Vanquish Soul opponent never opened this bad? <laughs> That's because uh, I'm a specialist at bricking with Vanquish Soul. You wouldn't understand. You would not understand. Watch them attack. Okay, thank you. Nice battle phase. Solemn warning is crazy. <laughs> That's a wild throwback, dude. They drew a solemn warning, man. God damn. <laughs> Let's take your soul. Your nose is mine. Let's go. You know what? I think I'm going to win without it. Yeah, I'm not going to use Raisin. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm not going to. Nah, you can't just... Nah, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You you can't just uh, show up at the very last second when I don't need you anymore and then expect me to actually play the Raisin. There's no way. There's no way. I had to work for this win. Well, I, I, I my opponent had to work for that win, I suppose. But yeah. I would much appreciate if you showed up in the opening hand rather than like, you know, at the end of the game when I'm already winning. That'd be sweet. Thank you. All right. This hand does suck against Droll. Which is why I think we start with Steak. You either draw zero Raisin or you draw four of the things, by the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, that's Rhoda. They have more. Please, no. It's a 47 card deck, man. What is going on today?
I you just need to play a deck that doesn't care about Droll. I've I've decided. Fuck, why is there a Stratos, man? Stratos, search Vion. End of the main phase. Oh, is this, what the fuck? Is this, is this Edison format? What I'm doing right now is scary because they might top deck into more plays. At the same time, I can't fathom what they're doing. And I'm not going to let them get away with it. This might be like Talon Spade and shit like that. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Dark. Warrior. Oh, I I got God, dude. There's no way. They top deck this with Max C, surely. There's no way. No, I deserve that. I deserve that, but still, like, why did they search Vion with Stratos? Riddle me that. They, why did they search Vion with Stratos to attempt battle phase? And then relied on Max C to draw them Ferris. What the hell was that? You act as if hero players know what they're doing. That's fair. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. There's no way they had it already. There's no way you just click battle phase. There's no way you just click battle phase if you have that already. Forty-seven cards, by the way. Ash, Droll, Maxi, Stratos. I'm just saying. Ash, Droll, Maxi, Stratos. Forty-seven. I deserve it though. I should have let them go battle phase. I should have just let them go battle phase to make sure I survive. Bro, they keep not linking away the Stratos to make the call. It's in it's infuriating. I hope they have to fuse with the Wander Driver now, but knowing my luck, they won't. They have Vion Liquid in hand. Wait, do I know about Liquid? No. Oh, did I? Wait, why did I? Yeah, they didn't have Vion in hand. Yeah, they had to fuse with it. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> I'm still gonna lose, man. Like, shit. <laughs> Oh god. Book of Eclipse. Uh, we still dead, most likely.
two. Ab zero. Okay. Why would you pop that? I'm so confused. I'm about to be max seed again, and I, I already know I'm going to lose this game. There's no shot. Like, they either have another max seed or another droll. There's no way I get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. This is good. I don't know. Maybe it is. Hitting the increase could be nice. Back row in the hero deck? Uh, it's probably mask change. Bro, stop. Stop, man. I need to play the game. Just a little bit, dude. I swear to God, if I get to play the game... I'm going to cook them so bad. I just need to be able to play the game just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. Uh, if I go Zhao Long, I feel like I have to go Pantera and just blow up the Ab Zero. Just Pantera, blow up the Ab Zero, and then I can keep playing with the Pantera. I have to bait the Ab Zero. Jiao Long does the same? No, it doesn't. Because if I had Jiao Long right now, it would be Chainlink 1, Ab 0, because it's mandatory. Chainlink 2, Jiao Long. Uh, and then my Jiao Long would die with it. Mm. Do I go Burger to save the Raisin? Would I rather have Raisin in hand or Burger? I don't think that's Raisin. It's a shame I don't have an earth monster in hand, otherwise I could blow up the back row here too, which would be nice. I cannot. I mean, I lose if it's Imperm. I was just assuming maybe they would have used Imperm earlier, but...
That's game. There's no way it's not game, unless they mess it up. That's so fucked up, man. They will mess it up, I mean... Potentially, but... We'll see. You could have just gone full setup last turn. Uh, I I think the set is mass change, which is why they went for the ab zero. Oh, they okay, they messed up. Okay, cool. Uh, see how long then? Can Burger dodge DPE? Uh, it doesn't um, target, so not really. Why that one? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why that? Oh, God. Lord have mercy, man. This should have been in defense. It's a little risky this way. Why did you? Why are you chaining it?
My, my mic is working fine, by the way. I just have no idea what I'm supposed to say. I'm not muted or anything, but... I... I, I have no, like... I don't have any comments on what's going on. I can't explain this, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The most confusing thing is how there was a mass change in the hand all of a sudden. And not the set... I... Bro, that card is good. Leave it on your board. Stop tributing it. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> I cannot explain it. I cannot explain what just happened. <laughs> oh, God damn. All right, well. Uh, uh, uh. I cooked with rulers. You better be ready for tomorrow. I, I don't know if it's tomorrow that we're going to do it, but we are going to do it. Yeah, it's it's something we are going to do in the next couple days. Is At some point, we're going to try and cook with the dragon rulers. For now, um, the current Master Duel format, I think, is in a weird state. It's in a, it's in a weird state because this deck... It's mainly Super Heavy Samurai, but most of the things that I'm saying about it also kind of apply to Manadium in the same way, right? Um, both of those decks are incredibly scary to go up against because they are like super powerful over-the-top combo piles that just, if you let them just play, they just completely overwhelm you and you have no way of taking part in the game, right? Which is not a great concept, right? Um, and, and sounds incredibly powerful. At the same time, though... These decks really crumble to a lot of cards in, in the format right now. One of the biggest deals, obviously, being Maxi. Um, Droll and Lockbird being the other huge thing, other hand traps that people are playing, you know. And I will say, overall, I don't know, uh, like, if I feel super comfortable with both of these decks. I mean, we've played a couple of games with each, way more with Super Heavy Samurai than Manadium, though, to be fair. Um, it doesn't feel that great. It feels like I'm flipping coins, It uh, like, most of the time. It doesn't feel like the skill matters that much, which is my main issue with uh, with combo decks in general. Um, but I feel like Super Heavy Samurai is especially bad when it comes to that issue, right? It's like, because you can't even play uh, any spell or traps to back you up, like, it's just flipping. Like, your opponent's maxi actually freaking resolve when you play this deck which is concerning you know it is very very concerning but yeah uh kvok you sang thank you for the tier one sub and yo yo check thank you for the 15 months appreciate you guys so much appreciate that thank you thank you uh also rena luxper thank you for the for the raid appreciate that as well even though it's kind of a last minute kind of thing because it's 5 p.m and we're about to head off i'm just i'm stalling a little bit right now because there was supposed to be an announcement at the end of the stream that was supposed to be posted at 5 p.m. But I'm not seeing it yet, so I don't know if I'm supposed to just tell you guys when it's not been posted yet. I'm not sure. Uh, let me quickly ask. Mm.
podcast? Oh, I mean, the podcast is not like a, the podcast is not a secret. Uh, there's a podcast happening. I guess I haven't talked about it on stream yet. I have not talked about it on stream yet, but Farfa and I are starting a podcast. This um, we're, we're filming the first episode this Thursday on my stream. Um, so that's going to be a thing that's going to be happening regularly. I hope you guys are going to like it. Um, like I said, first episode this Thursday. Uh, it's not only <laughs> it's not only fans. Uh, but there is more things. Like I said, I've been working on uh, on a couple things. Uh, one of them is. I guess I can just talk about it. I think it's been... They, they are saying it's been announced, but I can't find the tweet for it. Oh, okay. Hold up. Sasuke? No, no, I'm... <laughs> okay, I can talk about it anyways. Okay, the tweet has not been made yet, but I can talk about it regardless. It's not... Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are going to care about it, but there is something I'm doing in cooperation with Konami again. Uh, and that is, I will be co-hosting... I will be co-hosting... Hold up. Uh, we are back on the Konami sponsored content, guys, everybody, which means we are going to be, we are going to start that by casting the Duel Links 7th Anniversary Challenger Cup this upcoming Sunday. Um, but obviously, it's not just going to be Duel Links, it also, it's also going to include, um, Challenger Cups for Master Duel, and I assume it's also going to include some TCG sponsored content, all that kind of stuff, all the good stuff. We're back on the Konami, uh, the Konami uh, sponsored uh, streams and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, look, look forward for that. The first thing we're going to do together, uh, which I believe it's going to be Farfa and myself together, uh, we're going to be live this upcoming Sunday, casting the Duel Links 7th Anniversary uh, Challenger Cups. There's going to be a Speed Duel Tournament and a Rush Duel Tournament uh, in... Duel Links, which I I mean I'm looking forward to it. I haven't played Duel Links in a while, but I'm I'm always down to cast some Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever format it is. Um So we're gonna be I mean for you guys, not much is gonna change. You're just gonna get a bonus stream on Sunday where if you're interested in it, then great. You know, if you're not interested in it, you're not missing out on any other sort of content. You know, we're still gonna keep doing the same stuff that we have been doing. Um so yeah, I just wanted to get that announcement out there. If any of you guys are playing Dual links and want to take part, uh, make sure to join. Hold up, I have a link that I'm supposed to give you guys. Yes, 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 yes. I have a, I have a link to the Master Duel, uh, not Master Duel, the Dual Links um, Discord that you guys can join that I'm putting in the chat right now. If you guys are playing Duel Links, they work the same way as the Challenger Cups for Master Duel, completely free to enter, win some cool prizes. And it's going to be casted live on Farfa's and on my channel this Sunday. And uh, I don't know the exact times, but you will find all that information on the Discord server that I just posted in the chat, and I'll post it once more. Um, have you ever played Duel Links? Oh, I've played a lot of Duel Links. I've played a lot of Duel Links uh, until a couple years ago. And like, I mean, now that Master Duel comes out, I typically don't have the time to play all three. But I used to play Duel Links. I think it's fun. Um, but I don't, I don't really get to play it that much anymore uh, today. So I'm actually, I'm genuinely curious um, how it's gonna go. What's like, what's even going on in 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 Duel Links right now? So we're gonna check it out this upcoming Sunday. All right. With that announcement out of the way, I will see you guys again tomorrow with some more exciting content that I have planned. G Guernica, thank you for the uh, Prime, last minute Prime. Appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. 
I hope it was uh, insightful when it comes to the new Master Duel format. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to send you guys over to... Where do I send you guys? Where do I send you guys? Let me see. Let me see who's live. Uh, I'll send you guys over to Galzo. Galzo is now streaming on uh, on Twitch. I'll send you guys over to Galzo. Uh, I don't know what what he's playing today, but I'm guessing it's branded, probably. <laughs> I'll send you guys over to Galzo, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Peace.